We are all live. Yeah, we love. Are we live? Yes, are we, we love. Oh, are we? Okay. Did we done? We there? Yeah. Got the notification. Cool. I don't know. This PC that I got seems to be slowing down lately. I don't know. Is it that no, maybe it's got adware. Oh, you see, it's got adware. It's all that porn you watch. <laughs> all that porn I watch, bro. <laughs> wow. No, no, I was gonna, I was gonna, I was gonna say that explains why my phone's so bad. But <laughs> no, <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's just what we call, it's just what not we my call PC, man. <laughs> Unfortunately, we're streaming on. This is not coming out live, guys. Just remember that. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Welcome to Hi. the dirty Welcome podcast. Welcome to Dungeons. <laughs> Good. All right. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a rather um, PG stroke X-rated version of Critical Hit tonight. I'm Anthony, your DM for the evening, and uh, which we do every Wednesday around about this time. Although we're running a little bit late this minute, this at the moment because of some connection problems and issues. Uh, I lead a group of friends from South Africa, one in Ireland and the rest in South Africa, sitting around laptops or cell phones through a session of Dungeons and Dragons. As always, we uh, do this every week. We broadcast it. We stream it. It's there for you guys to listen, like, share, comment. Please, guys, we've got a hundred of you in our group. Somebody say some shit tonight other than the players. Righto, so before we get underway, we've got a sponsor for this campaign, so take it away, Mikey. This show is proudly sponsored by Sad Robot. Sad Robot is your one-stop shop for all your Magic the Gathering and Dungeons and Dragons needs. From boosters, card accessories, D&D modules, and loose singles. Great service at store level and a streamlined website for your online shopping needs. Make sure to visit sadrobot.coza and get your geek on sad robot the home of real magic and dungeons and drama love it nice that was good yeah it's getting better yeah. hey Philip. you yeah. might have to pay much him one better. of these days much better i have to pay him he, one of these he, yeah he, charge, he likes my tiktok videos yeah he charges <laughs> he charges a hundred a hundred pounds because you left his whatsapp group yeah yeah exactly all right, and, and as always, joining us for this session, let us go around and let our players introduce themselves. Take it away, Mike. Hi, everyone. My name is Mike. I play Nathan Valorant, the Wanted, a level 5 soul knife rogue. Valorant essentially was made for the underworld like a sharply defined blade. He was able to cut his way right through it. And I'll pass it on to my good friend Gareth. Oh, my word. Hi, everyone. I'm Gareth. Uh, I play, <laughs> I play um, Flood, the uh, the vampire spirit spiritualist. Uh, yes, it's very good. And I pass it on to Werner. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Well, good evening, everyone. It's Werner. I play you. He's a half elf monk. Why have mercy? And I pass it to Lee. Hi, my name is Lee. I play Grindel Bottom of the House Evelyn. I'm a rogue uh, assassin, level 5, who is a halfling. And uh, hopefully you can get up to some shenanigans, or more shenanigans, stealing and dealing. And I pass it on to Philip. Born oh. from nobility. Trained in war <laughs> and schooled in thought. <laughs> sorry, bro. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. My name is Philip. I play uh, Robert the Bruce, a level six Eldritch Knight human variant. And I pass it over to our dear. Have you finished choking yourself to death, Shackle? Oh. Okay, so now that we've got everybody underway, just a very, very brief recap of what had transpired. The party, having made its way back to the present, began to start their investigations and interrogated the individual that was tasked with the capture of their beloved party member, Nathan. 
the individual was convinced by Nathan and by Grundle Bottom that he is living a delusion of some sorts and that he needs to bear his soul to these individuals so that he can be cleansed of his memories only to have them kill him at the end of the of all the information he received the party then proceeded to keep keep a low profile until uh, events caught up to date and the party decided to leave ta the city of Tarkina and head north to go explore the unexplored mine to see if they could find anything of importance or anything of value that might actually still be there. Uh, along the way, the party encountered a couple of adventures. They also encountered a remnant of what could possibly be described as the old cult of Rakshan symbol. And that, gentlemen, with that revelation, is where we actually ended our session last week. <clears throat> and there's more to that. Is something okay. happened in the room? Sorry? Don't you feel like there's something like that in the room? No, I don't think so. Uh, is it last week? It sounds familiar, actually. Yeah, there was a presence in the room. <laughs> Yes, there was someone watching us while we were interrogating. Yeah, That's you felt I mean. uh, something, something or somebody was keeping an eye on you guys. Yeah. That's yes, because Flood looked into the abyss. Yeah, you could see something, something looking back at you. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. old white star. Okay. Mm. Yes. What do you guys do? You got to carry on towards this long lost mine. Yeah, I feel why not. Well, where, where, where exactly are we right now, Mr. Dam? What, what okay, so you're outside, you're outside Tarkinan at the moment. Mm -hmm. um, uh -huh. You're about halfway between Tarkinan and the the mine that you guys wanted to explore. And we are on my carriage, right? Yes, the carriage that you won in your dice game. Mm. Oh, okay. Wait, no, that was in the past, wasn't it? No, that was no, in the past. Was in the past. Uh, uh, that was in the no, past. weren't we going on the ship, guys? Yes, we were on the way back to the ship. Remember, we stopped yes. at Randolph, got all the information from Randolph, and uh -huh. we got the information about the cloth that we got with the broken upside down sickle of Russia. Correct, correct, yeah. correct. There yes. we go. And you're on the way back to the ship to save Mark Screwman. Yes, correct. yes, correct. yes. Correct. Yes, you indeed. You gotta go save Dax. That's right. Yes. That's right. Okay. All right. Okay, guys. You know. You start a new job and you work like crazily, you kind of forget a couple of things. Also, I didn't get a chance to re-listen to the podcast, which I usually do before session, so... Mm -hmm. Drop in the pot. Drop in the... Oh, no, he I really mean, wants to start like, a, He really wants to said, struggle tonight for XP, I, hey? I said we've got you, dear. You know, you can uh, count on us. Why can't uh, we be friends? Don't demonetize this video. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Be careful before they... <laughs> They, they, they put a bland or a, a soft block or whatever on us. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. So you guys make it back to the ship. Uh, you actually have to take your time a little bit to ensure you don't run into um, Misty, Samantha, Yun, Grundle and Flood. As well as Robert who went to go and talk to the crew of the of the victory. Mm -hmm. So you have to actually avoid running into them on your way back there. Um, well, we did kill some time, remember? We, did, we dealt with the orphans and we went on a wild chase. Yeah, 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 that's true. That's true. And oh, yeah, but also, you're... we're still in disguise. That is correct. And we got somebody reversing. No, no, sorry, it's my microwave. I'm just going to say some back up now. Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> back up now. <laughs> <laughs> Where's ours, Mark? That's not right. Hey, you're supposed to share the, the wealth around. Sorry, guys. Sorry. I'll make you guys some, some food when you come over for dinner. Okay, cool. I'll be there shortly, hey? Just got to take my vaccination first, get my visa, get the plane ticket, take leave from work, take leave from the family. Mm, too much. Sorry, too much effort. Is it easy, right? Huh? See you next week, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that easy, eh? <laughs> uh, gosh. All right. Um, yeah, so you make your way to the ship, and 
The crew is still reeling from their little encounter with uh, Misty. You frightened the living daylights out of them. To the extent that Dax actually jumped off the ship. Um, he's actually, if you do a, you can now that you get a bit close to the ship, you can actually do me a perception check. Alright, I will definitely do yeah, that. Yeah, everybody can do it, yeah. Wow! You just see me running around. Dex, Dex, where are you? Dex, Dex. I run. So Robert and Grandal are the two that are eager to find him. Okay. Um, and you can clearly see Dex hanging from the netting under the ship. He looks a bit uh, faint. Um. I think he himself thought he was probably a goner. Um, I, I'm gonna freaking stand under him and says, Paul, I've got you. Come, bring it. I'm strong. I'll catch you. Okay. I, I don't know how high it is up. Oh, fuck it. Guys, just somebody stand, stand correct with some, with some medicine checks, all right? <laughs> Okay, um, and uh, Dex lets go finally, and uh, yeah, Robert, you can roll me a acrobatics if you can catch him as he falls. Acrobatics or strength? Uh, athletics, sorry. Athletics, oh, okay. Uh, roll. You're a fighter, you should have athletics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <coughs> with ease. That, you catch that. Dex with ease, and uh, yeah, they're all pale and they look up to say, and then they all notice Nathan. It's like, you're here! Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, uh, Hold on. Uh, Hold on. Uh, so, uh, uh, if, you, if you remember carefully, what happened was a Flood had gained uh, some new superpowers, and yeah. Flood had jumped off to try and catch him at the same time. Yeah. Which I failed, but I still jumped off. Yeah. So would I not see the see Robert catch him? Uh, oh! No, 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 this is after. Oh! No, 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 no,
uh, and Je Jeremy, Jeremy the pilot. So say, Jeremy, come hang over. On, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Na, 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 Okay. Yeah. Okay. So Jeremiah is the pilot. Yeah, he's also in second in command. Mm-hmm. He's always confident. Jeremiah. Yeah, yes. very confident individual. Okay. He follows you with uh, Dex. Cool. We go into the into the room, and I what I do is I take a very old tattered map from one of the barrels, and I lay it across the table, knocking over any goblets or anything that's over there, and I stack two daggers at each end of the map chick, chick, onto the table, and I say, right, lads, we are taking off. We are here, kindly. And I look at the Captain Robin, I say, and we're going. And I point out the, the mine. The rough location. Well, yeah. The, you, you know I point it out is. the I mean, rough it... location plus minus, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so uh, Jeremy has a look at this. And he, he thinks to himself, hmm, why would you want to go there, sir? Sorry that I mean, don't mean to uh, speak out of turn, but you do know there's nothing to be found there. Don't worry about what we'll find there. We are obviously in good faith going to try and find something that cannot be found. That being said, inform the crew everybody's getting a hundred gold bonus today, effective immediately. Okay, we'll get on that right away. Um, he stops and, uh, taking a... Yeah? Get, get Sylvester to cook us something nice for the trip. Alright, yeah. yeah. Always got some good stuff. Uh, Sylvester comes up to Nathan, he says, Nathan, stew beef a good, a good choice? good as any moment just make sure it's delicious and that there's enough for everyone and that we have enough for the journey as well okay good stuff um jeremy starts measuring with uh with a, with uh, what you call that um shit now i can't think of its name uh uh, -uh. to measure the distance and everything on the maps yes. oh um, navigator's tools? Yeah, but it's a, it's something specific. I just can't think of its uh, its name at the moment. I'll, I'll tell you just now. Just give yeah. Me a uh, man, now it's bugging me. Sorry. <laughs> uh, Isn't it a sextant? Sextant. Sextant. That's uh, mm. that's it. And he measures it, and he has a look. He says, uh, uh, Sir Captain, it's going to take us two days at maximum speed to get to that area. Great. Dex, I know you've been through a bit, buddy, but I need the ship in fully working order for the next two days and for the follow-ups to return when we need to. No problem. I'll get on it immediately. I'll make certain that uh, she's purring like a kitten. And then uh, uh, I turn I turn to... Uh, so, so this is still there, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so Sylvester, just make sure there's enough L for all of us for the journey. It's going to be two days. And I sigh. Um, oh, as I sit on one of the reclining chairs. Okay. Um, they go finish all the checks and everything. I take it everybody's aboard? Yes. Yep. Yes. Augustus is heading to the crow's nest. Is Grundle going there as well? No, Grundle heads up. Okay, Grundle, do me an acrobatics as you climb up, just for the hell of it. How many? On One victory. acrobatics check as you climb to the crow's nest of the victory. Mm -hmm. You must jump to the top with, uh, without much, too much difficulty. Okay, and Jeremy shouts off, cast off! And uh, they cast off the ropes and everything, and you guys head out. Heading in a roughly northeast, more like a northwesterly direction from Tokina. Um, mm -hmm. No, she's not. <sighs> 
She's 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 working where you left her. Oh, that's correct. She's working in the in that tavern. Correct. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. She's working at that um, that house of ill repute mm. <laughs> establishment. Mm. Which is... turn, I'm gonna I'm gonna quickly turn to um, a flat and say, nobody, no more woman on the ship, ma'am. It's bad luck. Don't you know? You can never have a woman on a flying ship. But luck for a woman. So Sorry? It's not flight you're talking about, it's actually Philip you're referring to. It's um, Sir uh, Robert you're talking to, huh? That's what I said, I said Philip. I'm sure you said flood. You said flood, but anyway. I thought so. I thought as well. Uh, all these allegations and no proof. <laughs> okay, we so do I have proof. Uh, um, um, Gareth, please replay that last section. Which section? Where he said flood instead of Robert. <clears throat> but anyway. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I need a lawyer. <laughs> we have you on tape. Yeah. Damn it. It's called entrapment. Evidence. You've been wired. Oh no, that uh, those years are long past. Okay, Gary should get that. Cool. Okay, so they head on, and um, yeah, what's everybody up to? Grundle, you're in the crow's net with Augustus. Flat. Can I do a perception? Uh, I'm, going, I'm going to go you, below decks. Just hold on. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, flat. yeah. I'm just going to go below decks. I'm just going okay. Flat's going below. Uh, Nathan. Uh, I'm going to do my rounds with the crew. Okay, Robert. I'll also be patrolling the upper deck and also specifically check out uh, my works in the engine room and stuff and things like that. Okay, and then lastly, Yun, what you up to? Mm, I'll also be on my deck, probably where the pilot on the ship is. Okay, so you can stick with, Jer with Jeremy then. Uh, yeah. Grundle and Augustus, I need perception checks, please. Roll 1d20. Plus whatever ADV. Wait, wait, wait. I thought, thought Avery doesn't, doesn't like you. Wait, wait. I think it's time for this. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. What? <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> We've been that, haven't we? <laughs> nice. Nice, very nice. Okay. You've saved for specific moments, man. <laughs> mm -hmm. Um Grundle, you're more interested in the dirt on the in the crow's nest than what's actually going on. That is good. That is good. Do you have inspiration? No. You get your point of inspiration for that, Lee. Oh. You can definitely take a point of inspiration for that one. That is good. That is very, very good. Okay, but needless to say, it's not much to worry about. Uh, the ship starts picking up a bit of speed. Thanks to the interesting modifications that Nathan ordered, uh, they're coming in quite handy now. So, um, Jeremy uh, hands over controls of the ship to you, Nathan, for a little bit. He just wants to go recheck the the calculations. Yeah, he wants to just go recheck recheck the calculations just to see the landmarks and everything, just to pinpoint exactly. Uh, Um, sorry. Uh, just to check exactly how. <coughs> oh, sorry, guys. Thank you. Um, just to basically see how long it's still going to take. Um, with the modifications, the speed, the the time is actually reduced. It's gonna. You guys are gonna get there uh, by later afternoon than the next day. So it's basically a day and a couple of hours before you'll actually get there. The modifications have increased the speed slightly, so it's basically saved a bit of time off everything. Okay. <laughs> cool. All right. Let's go around. Flood, uh, are you resting or what exactly yeah. are you doing? I'm, just, uh, I'm just keeping to myself, man. 
Okay. Yeah. Cool. You know, you know, you know Flood, if there's nothing really to do, he's, he's just going to relax. Okay, cool. It's getting to late afternoon, obviously. I mean, with the speed you guys are moving at. Um, Grundle, you can do me, you and Augustus can both do me another perception before I carry on through the rest. Oh. Philip, don't ever complain about Avra, eh? No, no, no. But but if it wasn't for advantage, it would have been like a three, eh? <laughs> yeah, okay. I suppose so, maybe. And the other one also wasn't such a good one, if I remember correctly. There was an eight, so yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. um, Nathan, you're steering, eh? Or you... Um, yeah. Well, you're helping Jeremy, basically. Yeah. Uh, Robert? Um, I'll, 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 I'm just keeping check on everything now and again, make turns at the engine room and check at the engines and walk on the top of the deck and just make sure uh, everything Dax has is got the up. Dax has got those engines purring like a kitten. Okay. This, okay. This, the ship is, is holding together nicely. Um, we just won't we, we just won't discuss how exactly the ship came to belong to the, to you guys. I mean, it's still not hundred percent clear to the rest of the group how this is, was acquired. Um, but anyway, uh, and, Valorant. Yeah, you don't then, ask questions. Yeah, you don't ask questions to which you don't want answers. <laughs> exactly, hundred yeah. percent. Okay, and then lastly, you know, you're also still milling about on deck. Yeah, why the hell, Mary? I'm still here. Okay, cool. Um, all right, so let me just check those perceptions. That's pretty good. Still nothing. Um, uh, Grundle, though, you will relay that. They might need a slight course correction, um, mm -hmm. but you can't put your finger on why. Okay, the uh, perception check is not high. No, he, he can't uh. work out why, but from his perception check, it just looks like it's not a good idea the direction you're currently are heading, which means it might require a sm slight course correction. Um, just to is, show is that. He telling me this? Well, he's going to need to. I'm letting him know that yeah. now, so he's going to have to relay that information to you guys. Somehow. Okay. Oh. So, uh, uh, shout below, you need, what, uh, can I see, can I say in which direction? Uh, you say just head a little bit, uh, uh, turn slightly a little bit more towards the north, not so much towards the west, a little bit. Okay. <sighs> Down to the grip and then say, uh, course correction, move a little bit more to the north. Uh, uh, I hear you loud and clear, Grendel. And then I turn to whoever's near me and I say, Oh my god, he's growing, growing up so quick. And I, and I just turn, <laughs> turn correction, you know, a little. And then I shout, Why? Uh, okay, Lee, now I need an investigation check from Grendel. Investigation? Yep, and it's not an easy DC, so you need to get high. I'm telling you now. <laughs> get high, bro. <laughs> yeah, not smoke something. Whoa! Whoa. No, that ain't hard, buddy. Okay, that's opposite of hard. Not actually sure why, but it just feels that you guys need to head more north. Something's just telling him. No, I shut. I shut down. I've just got a feeling it's a hunch. Just do as I say. Do as I say. Jesus, they're growing up way too fucking fast. Just check this guy out. Right, whatever. We'll go with the rogue since things always once okay. a rogue, always a rogue. Time. Yeah, okay. So you, you guys correct it, and as you do that, you just watch as this mountain spire that was not clearly visible just misses scraping the side of the ship as you make that course correction. Oh, seriousness. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, if you didn't do it, you guys would have run aground, guaranteed. You could have shot to ground. You couldn't just have shot at mountain ahead. <laughs> I didn't see well, it. he missed. He, he missed didn't see it. it. He didn't see it. That's it. He just knew to move, but he didn't see it. <laughs> All right, uh, it's getting a lot. Okay, so as uh, the sun starts to set, let's check in with everybody again what you guys are doing. It's starting, the sun's starting to dip down. Uh, uh, what you call it is now, what's the chef? Sylvester, hey, the chef. He's prepared a nice meal for, um, what's the name of the party now? Oh, uh, they haven't come up with a name yet. Oh, Wasn't it did. the Conquistadors or the Spanish Inquisition? Is that what you want to be called? No. No. 
Okay. By next session, guys. How about the heretic? <laughs> okay. Not now. By next session, let's have a proper party name, huh? So I can okay. start running your reputation counter properly. You said a proper party name. Okay. Okay, I guess I'm, I'm, I'm the only one in this group. Don't you have yeah. access to that Facebook post that you posted? To I deleted it. And oh. The thing is, but it, I did share it yeah. on. It was shared on Discord. If you guys can remember the date, we can probably find it on Discord. Maybe when we take a five-minute break, if someone's feeling sure. lucky, sure. when we take a break, maybe someone feels lucky, maybe scroll up on Discord, see if you can track it down. Because I did post the results. Sure. It's just, I can't, do, uh, no, no. No, it wasn't Mike, don't, let, Let's rather, I think, um, wink, wink. Uh, he's trying to point out something. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um... Yeah, but anyway, um, okay, so as the sun starts to dip flood, you still below? Yes, sir. What, what, what else would I do? Okay, maybe, okay. I'd, maybe I'd start walking around, talking to people, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay freaking everybody out. <laughs> what do you mean? No, but everybody knows flood by now. Flood, uh... Oh, but it's still creepy when they see you. I mean, uh, it doesn't matter how yeah. well you know you. No, if it's... You think about it, it's, you've got this... No, it's not creepy presence. when they see me. It's creepy when I just pop up behind them and I'm like, Hello, it's Flood, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> how, you, how you doing? How you doing? <laughs> yeah. That's what, I keep thinking of Joey from Friends when you I'm, do that. I eh? know. I know. It's okay. It's okay. Don't worry. It's fine. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and then Grundle, are you going to make your way down from the crow's nest? I mean, you do need to get some sleep. Uh, I need to get something to eat. Never mind, let me just. Never mind. Let me <laughs> okay, eat. you're gonna you're gonna go join for the feast, Nathan. Are you gonna go? Um, eat, or are you gonna? I will. I I am gonna put the ship on autopilot. Okay. So as you say, <laughs> you say engage the autopilot. Um, yeah. I love this. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Wait for it, you're gonna love this. Um, <laughs> Arnold comes running, sits, plonks his ass on the ground, and holds the wheel straight. <laughs> I love it. Alright. Okay, and then Robert. I need, I need to prep the crew though for what we're gonna do. So, I wanna have a touch with them. Okay. And then lastly, Yun. Okay, so he's just gonna eat and then he's gonna be on deck for a while before he goes to sleep again, yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. And do I need to do an acrobatics check for the way down? Yes, please. Just, it's just for fun, Lee. Mm -hmm. As long as it's not a one, then it's not that fun. <laughs> yeah, then it's not that fun. Yeah. Yeah, but then I use my. Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, you're in a rush to get down. You're in a rush to get down for the crow's nest. So you don't slide down. You jump down and ooh, and take five bashing damage as you land on the deck. Five bludgeoning damage, should I say, as you land on the deck? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, give me one sec. I just need to call something up. Okay, something I need to look at my side. Okay. Right. Okay, um, yeah, so, okay, so. Grundle, you're gonna go eat. Uh, Flood, you're gonna be up on deck. Nathan, okay, yo, Nathan, what are you telling the crew? So, uh, are they gathered round except for... Yeah, yeah, they the all are, except for Arnold, who's got the ship on autopilot for you. It, sh it should have been Brand that did it, but okay. <laughs> um, uh, I gather everyone around and say, all right, lads, uh, as you know, we are set way to our destination, and there's much mystery about what we're about to do, but I need you all to understand one thing. We've all been in this ship for quite a while, and you have proven yourselves trusty crew members. And uh, 
as I said, uh, I have a little bonus for all of you just to show my appreciation, uh, especially after everything you've gone through. And I give each one of them a hundred gold, and obviously I take an extra bag for Arnold as well. This one will be for Arnold. Now, uh, I, I need you, I need you all to to brace yourselves for what I'm about to show you, but I need you to accept it so that you're not shell shocked when we get to our destination. Should we be fruitful? And I do trust you. Oh, and I think you all trust me. Is that true, crew? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Like a unison. Wait, right. right. is, 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 is Flat there? That's up to you. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's where we're all eating. Oh, right. yeah. oh, okay. Okay, yeah, sure. Well, I mean, while you guys are eating. Flat uh, yeah. doesn't eat his food in front of his friends. It's just rude. Yeah, it's, it, it's, it's oh, rude. It's so rude. Right. So, uh, I proceed to show them the all bar. And I say, this is our mission. You just check are... every single one of them's jaw, like, literally hits the table. Eyes go white. It's like... Are we preparing and, for and a mutiny? Done silence. And I say, right lads, I know that none of you would have ever expected to see one of these in your lifetime. But I need you to take me very seriously when I say what I say right now. We're in a journey that will change us. We're in a journey where we will all grow from. But we are a team and we will achieve great things. We might be able to be rich and we might be able to save certain regions of the world. Are you with me or you're against me? And I, 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 I very distinctively hold on one hand on the ore bar and one on my blade. And it just, uh, it just, um, let me see. There's how many crew were there again? There are one, two, three, four, five, six, except for Arnold, who is upstairs. There's five with us right currently. So there's six crew in total, hey? Mm, yeah. Okay, so it needs, I need six dice rolls. Okay. Am I present? You can't. Yeah, yeah. Where they're eating? It's where you're eating. No, all there, yeah. Okay. Okay. I, I so, take out my I take out my sword and my axe and I put it on the table. <laughs> oh, <laughs> geez, is that not intimidating or what? <laughs> At this uh, point, the axe is gonna freak out. He's like, "That's mahogany wood. What are you doing? <laughs> Just warning." <laughs> um, the crew's with you. Fantastic. Right. Even right. Arnold, who's not present, is is hundred percent with you. Uh, say so, all right, everybody, grab a drink except for Jeremy. You can drink later when your shift is done. And Dex, my good man, I trust your judgment. You do as you <sighs> please for now, and as long as we get to where we need to be, and the engines are all sound. Aye, aye, sir. We'll we'll make damn certain that we get to where we need to be. And then can we all say thank you to Sylvester for this lovely meal we are having today? I think that this is delicious. Well done, Sylvester, and I raise my cup to him. And as I pick up my axe and my blade, I intentionally scratch the table. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't even it's want okay. to know I can why. Buy, I, can buy a, I can buy a million tables. It's okay. <laughs> but it's, but I, I, I get Philip's point of view. He's purposely did that. Of course I did purposely yeah. fall yeah. that. Yeah. Of course I know how he feels about his ship, right? And all yeah. the shit that we have to endure with him, right? Yeah. Okay, so hey, everybody, hey, once, the, once the meal's are over, everybody, uh, the, every, uh, the, the sort of impartial meeting breaks up and everybody starts heading out. Grand and Lashim, you going to go hunker down for the night? Yes, uh, I'm going to hunker down and uh, heal, my, and heal myself. Yeah, that that well, you'll heal you if, if you get eight hours sleep, uh, long rest, and you'll heal fully. Uh, Flood, what are you going to do for the rest of the evening? Oh, I'm just going to mosey around, you know, look out upon the okay. sky. Uh, um, guys, give me a second. I need to talk to Gareth about something in the side table. Oh, wow, okay, all right, Ooh, ha! let's go. Talk to me, puppy. Okay, quick question. Mm. Uh, how is Flood surviving the journey at the moment? Because it's the crew, and I don't think any of the crew is going to let uh, is going to let him feast on them. 
Well, Flip really doesn't really need to eat that much. And remember, just before we left, he, he feasted. He did eat. Okay, no, no. I just want to clarify that. I um, just want to make certain of that. Because obviously, it, it is important. Because Flood can't go for too long without blood. Oh, uh, he can go for a while. I mean, how long is this journey? Ugh, you got it. But tomorrow afternoon, you're going to be there. Yeah, so. no. Flood will be okay. I oh, will be alright. Okay, yeah. no. I just wanted to make certain of that. That's yeah, why yeah. I just wanted yeah. to check If, if, you. if okay, you check cool. in my backstory, I actually did say that Flood doesn't necessarily need to eat he actually doesn't like eating i've just done it now and again because you know the guys still need to know it gives that you, it also gives you, doesn't it, if i remember correctly it's a blood that gives you that strength boost in combat and things like that doesn't yeah it? but flood's been drinking blood for so long that he's kind of lost the taste for it so he basically uh, okay no no only that's fine i just wanted to. i just wanted to clarify to make certain that everything's cool yeah because i i, I just thinking about it when you guys left sky store there was other people on board that you could feast on if I remember correctly. No, but he, he, did, he did feast just before you, we got on board, so fine. Okay, alright, cool. Alright, that solves that. Okay, we can head back. Cool, cool. <coughs> <laughs> and a lot of luck. Okay, sorry, now I just want to clarify something, Gareth, quickly. Um, okay, yeah, so, uh, and then Nathan, are you going to turn in as well for the night? Yeah, uh, I am going to get some rest as well. Yeah, okay, Robert? Um, I don't know. Um, um, if everybody's gonna sleep and the crew is going to just operate the ship, I'm gonna take a watch on the decks for, let's call it, until late evening, and then I will turn in. Okay, and then lastly, Yun. Yeah, you'll sleep Yun until I'll be on the deck again. Okay. Just watch for a while for me to sleep. Okay, so basically the night passes without any incident, the ship carries on, you guys can wake up the next morning with the bright, bright, bright sunlight. Uh, it's When the sun finally does get up, the temperature's already in the upper 20s, um, as the sun starts to rise. <laughs> okay, alright Mikey, not a problem. Um, so then we would be about a half a day away from our destination, right? Correct, yes. By the time you wake up, it's like okay. literally just as just afternoon you should be there. Okay, cool. <coughs> okay. Yeah, no, obviously, Mark. Uh, which means mm -hmm. I'm actually going to need you to do me a just a perception check. Straightforward one. Nothing uh, too untoward. Do I get advantage because of my. Yeah, notes? you will because, you are, because of what you said to me on WhatsApp, you will. Cool. Okay. <laughs> Not that it really helped, but uh, it's still there. Okay, great. Okay, when you wake up. Alright, cool. Um, yeah, you guys all wake up, start doing your daily rituals. Flood, you didn't really sleep, but what's he doing now in the early part of the morning? Uh, watching... Yeah, I can actually watch the sunrise, yeah. Yeah, well, thanks to what you're wearing. Okay, yeah. cool. Grando? Uh, Grando goes back up there to the crow's nest. Okay, do me another acrobatic check on your way up. Oh, ho, ho, ho. You don't have Ooh. to get done. He's up that mast into the crow's nest. But Grando... He doesn't even climb. He just, like, runs up it with ease. <laughs> Grando doesn't have to get it done, but Grando can sure get it up. 100% I like that one, uh, Mike. Okay, uh... <laughs> yeah. Sorry, I just, saw, I just saw the minor detail on the gift. Sorry. Yeah. Uh... It's the least. Yeah. Um, Nathan, what you doing? Uh, I am, uh, essentially just, uh, in the war room, or what do you call it, the, the, the area where we plan our things. And it's basically, when I, was just, I don't know what you guys want to call it, maybe. Yeah, you, I wouldn't call it war room. Yeah, I saw that, Mike. Uh, okay. I also saw it. If you look, it's actually bad. Uh, it's actually yeah. bad now as you point it out. <laughs> it's actually very bad. Oh, Grundle, you need to wear some monkey's breath. <laughs> It's sticking out. Um, is that why the owl is eating popcorn and checking the shit out? <laughs> It's a new worm. Oh, nice. Nice. Okay. Um, I don't know if you want to call it the war room. Yeah, you can call it the war room. It's fine. It's not really for war, but if you want to call it that, it's not a problem. Mm -hmm. Conference room or... I can't call it a boardroom, but war room's good enough. War room, I like that. Yeah, I yes. call it the war room. Yeah, yeah okay. 
Um, then Robert, what you up to? Um, I'll join them in the war room. Okay, and lastly, Yun. Uh, I think after breakfast he's probably gonna do his morning prayers, have some, do some exercises and stuff. Okay. Cool. And probably then also head to the war room. If you notice that everyone's there, yeah. Yeah, well, basically everybody's there except for Grundle and Flood. Grundle's in the crow's nest, and uh, I take it Augustus is up there as well. Uh, of course, he. I mean, he doesn't need sleep and all that shit. He's a spell, so he just gets. Yeah, he just recast him when he needs. Yeah, to. yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um. No stress. No problem. Can I just perception? Yes, please roll a perception, Lee. No, I think you will stay on deck. That's me. Yeah. Okay. Cool. No. That's fine. Yeah. Okay, so oh. then, uh, basi then it's uh, basically just Robert and um, Nathan in the war room at the moment. Then, <sighs> uh, as I see Robert walk in, I say, Robert, my good friend, please come in, come in. Oh. Something I want to discuss with you. And and I take a seat and I take my axe and put it on the table. <laughs> uh, <laughs> God damn it! Lol. Is that really necessary? Do you have to put your axe on every flat surface that you find? I have to keep it close to me. Right, it's okay. Thank goodness we can afford it. Anyways, I just wanted to make a note. In the previous town, we saw those orphans and they tried to steal the ore from me. Yes. I made sure I set them off on the right path, but just giving them something to just keep them going but you killed that man that was clearly abusing them and that uh, I just wanted to let you know I approve of that I uh, feel like I feel like it resonated with me Robert yeah I saw Do you think I saw it was bad? that there was something close was to your heart here that that meant something to you and I reacted the only way I know how to react that is to I, vanquish these evil people around. And I appreciate that, my brother. I just want you to know that I feel a strong urge to to take vengeance on those who do unjust to those less fortunate. But I still do believe you picked the wrong path for them. Oh, no, don't worry about that. I came out alright, didn't I? And I went, ding! <laughs> <laughs> and I face bar myself. <laughs> hey, at least you're not walking into people's houses and putting blades and axes on their tables, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's have a drink. <laughs> I like your sense of humor. <laughs> let's do it, Robert. And, I, and I pour us a, a goblet and then cutscene. <laughs> okay, you guys still there? Yeah, we're done. We're busy yeah, yeah. having a drink while we're having a laugh. Okay, back out. Uh, Lee, roll me a... Augustus and uh, Grundle, roll me a perception again and let me know the results. Sorry, I'm just putting. I'm just looking up some stats somewhere, so I'm not on the Discord uh, chat at the moment. So just tell me what you uh, guys I'll get. be back in five minutes. Oh, fuck. Okay, okay that obviously wasn't okay. very good. Sorry? And say 14. 14 and Augustus? 8. Sure. Okay. 4 and a 5. Hmm. Okay. Not too great. Um, okay. Oh, this is nuts, man. Give me one sec, guys. Sorry. I just need to find something. You've just caught me, but. Out of it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just looking for something, and uh, I didn't have it ready, and I should have. But to see. It's, it's, I'm glad to be working, but yo, it does give me less time to do things. 
You know, I think it's a good idea. Let's take a five minute break, guys. Yeah. Okay. Alright, let's take the five minute break now. Thanks. Oops. I, I think the ship is crashing, Nathan. No. no. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to an, another episode of Dungeons and Dragons online store and. Uh, uh, a phone line shop with the great deals and specials. Today, I have my friend uh, Grendel Bottom selling a table fixer. It polishes it, it, poli it fixes it, it fills in the crevices, and uh, as well, it can varnish and paint any table or surface that has been damaged. Will it fix Gold this? Out... <laughs> Are you doing a demonstration? Please do demonstrate, Robert. Please damage the table, and Grendel, you will now show the device in action. For only today, if you buy this product. <laughs> you also get this high fiber duvet cover for any sort of mission. When you, when you go on an adventure, you need the best possible rest, whether it be in the forest, swamps, mountains, or shard mountain sides. Of so volcanoes. throw out that old bedroll that you have and use our new comfort comforter 5000. Over 300 keys were murdered to make one for your pleasure. Uh, Go now for 749 <laughs> pieces of gold. It can be yours. Grendel, please demonstrate the duvet, how comfy and soft it is. The duvet is comfy and soft, but wait, there's more. Ah, is, is there, there more? more? There's more. You lie. If you is call right more? now, Grandel will the throw in. The is seven days huh? of rations, because this duvet is just so comfortable. You would love to just lie in this duvet for seven days. Seven days of Mama's Tavern's special rations. You heard it all here today, people. For seven forty-nine ninety-nine pieces of gold, you get the table fixer. We we couldn't come up with better names on the marketing department. We had to cut costs to make this cheap for you, so we got rid of the marketing department. And it's just called the table fixer. And we have this special camping duvet. We uh, call it it's the, called the Comf Comforter 5000. The Comforter 5000, as my friend Robert would suggest. And also, seven of Mama's Tavern's rations. And is there more, Robert? And today, only today, you can get only this today. bundle deal for 739 gold pieces. Wait, if I thought you, it was 749. If, Did you just drop the price? That's madness, man. If you purchase this, clean your axer upper uh, cloth for only one 10 gold pieces. <laughs> 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 so, the back up, so the price is back up. So the price is back up. Seven forty nine. And what does this cloth do? Well, unlike most of you now, you just shove it in this in this crevice of the the the, the neck part of your shirt, and you can eat to your heart's content and not worry that your lovely level two leather vest will get stained with any ordeals. But then again, that's just for food. I don't know what to do under the comfortable duvet cover 5000. Great, Anthony's put up a link on thing. So, so I think we then called the Sky Guard. We are because the Sky, the Sky Guard. Guard got 12 votes and then New Horizons got 4. Nice. Okay. Are we oh. the Sky Guard? The Sky mean, Guardians. Like, it has to be like. Dun, 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 dun. The Sky Guards. We are the Sky Guard. No, Sky Guardians. Sky Sky Guardians. I like that. But it's, it's kind of like it's kind of like Marvel. Rip -off. Yes, 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 yes. Mm, mm. But we don't have any special powers. Oh, don't we? No. And, we a, and, a, and, a, and a, a summon a blade out of thin air. Don't we? Can I buy a duvet, please, Mike? <laughs> uh, well, so, sorry, sir. You have to buy the table fixer uh, oh. and the... But, but oh, Mike... Oh, oh, the, 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 the duvet comes as an extra. Oh, but, Mike... Okay. Yes, it does. 
Is exactly. shipping and postage included? Uh, Only if, if you I, buy I the X cleaner upper <laughs> together with the <laughs> table fixer upper. <laughs> <laughs> and not only that, you also get the Comforter 5000 and 7 days rations of food that will make you rock hard in your soft and comfortable zone. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> oh. Alright, so, sorry, um... Mm. Yeah, it just fucked up that ad for us, right? Yeah, big time. Okay. So right. don't worry, we'll drop the price to 700 gold pieces, 699 gold pieces. How about that? It's still well. It's still a steal. All right, guys. After a little break, well, I had to pull up my notes of where we guys are heading, and at the same time, also managed to find out. So the party will be henceforth known as the Sky Guardians. Is everybody in agreement? All, all agreed. Yeah. Gareth, you yeah. cool with that? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. sure. Uh, flat out, he needs a duvet, not the table. <laughs> I need to find out if he's just duvet. He's the only one that has a fancy duvet in the whole ship. Okay. Um, does perception were too low. Okay, it gets to lunchtime, and next thing, Jeremy comes to find you and says, uh, Sir, we have arrived at the coordinates you indicated. Fantastic. Find a place where we can rec recon the area. And let's see um, what we can see. Okay. Okay. Robert, just hang on a second. Let's, a... Hmm? let's just hover, hover the ship and I can send. How high are we up, Anthony? You are about a mile up. So can we maybe hover the ship at like a hundred feet? Because I have control at, of Augustus at 120 feet. Okay, so you're going to drop altitude then. Are, are we going to do that, guys? And then Augustus can just go down and just scan. Um, Wait. No, you have to, and then he wants to get off as well, you know. Yeah. And, Anthony, mm -hmm. would one of the guys have, a, I was actually thinking of that, a periscope? Would I be able to get advantage of using that? Uh, a spyglass. Uh, yeah. uh, it would give you advantage if you use a spyglass, yeah. But the problem with that is, you guys, as I said, currently like a mile up, right? Which is like a thousand feet up. Um, so you're gonna have to drop. So what you're down. saying is, what you're saying is, we have to hang someone from a rope at about half a mile down with a periscope. <laughs> Hold on. Hold I, on. Think, I think Grundle's volunteered. Hold on, Ent Entity. If I look over the, sh if I climb down the rope with the periscope, and I look down from instead of so high up. I look down just over the ship. Yeah. And someone can just hold me. So you want to be lowered down how far? No, someone just holds no, me. Still too far. You guys are too high up. Too you're going to have to, you're yeah. gonna have to drop down. You're too high up. Let's drop to 100 feet, guys. No, 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 no that's way too close. I'd say half, half a mile. <laughs> Not bad, but you don't have a long enough ladder, I don't think. What, two oh, we do. No, we have to do 100 feet so we can send out. Yeah, that's what we can get taken. Yeah. We can get taken out, we can look ourselves. We just, we're not looking to pick out every Tom, Dick and Harry on the land, guys. We're just looking for landmarks right now, and then we're going to land the ship, and we're going to go towards said lands, landmarks, but, and then we're going to get further we need to see it. But, but exactly, that's why I say yeah. let's just drop to a hundred feet and send the owl out just to check some stuff. Where are we going to drop to a hundred feet without actually putting the ship in danger? Hey, Robert. Who says anybody is going to go and attack us now, man? Uh, well, on. you don't know that. You don't know uh, what's of down course there. I, I, I don't know. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't think we need to drop levels. You just let the owl out, let it... And it, oh, we, oh, it can only go on. We've all got eyes as there. well. Like I said, we pick up the landmark and we, dis we, we disembark the ship, we move closer to the landmark and we take a vantage point and we recon further. There's no point in putting the ship and my crew in danger. Oh, so sure, Mike. Blind, then. Cool, no worries. Oh. 
Well, okay, okay, you know what? You know what? No, 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 no. You know what? These, uh, these uh, kids, they scrabble, it's fine. Flat, I'm going to jump down. I'm going to go have a look, it's fine. Superhero landing time. Yeah, Flat will just jump off the ship. Flat will jump and he'll be like, you guys are arguing for fucking match! And I'm just fucking gonna jump off the ship, yeah, fuck it. Yeah. Flat jumps off the side of the ship and he flies. 100%. Exactly. I was waiting for shortcut, but you know what? Let them argue for twenty. Minutes. Right, right. <laughs> they forget that they have a guy that can literally fucking fly. <laughs> Guys, you saw my meme I posted in the group the other day. Uh. -uh. Didn't you see it? D and D is a game where you sit around arguing a plan for twenty-five minutes and then you don't follow it. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, this time they didn't even come up with a plan. So Flood's just going to go like, "Fuck it, I'm going to fly." Okay, so you fly down, you land, are you going to land down or are you just going to stay hovering? I oh, know I'll land down, but, okay. but I'll, try, I'll do it while I'm being invisible. I can't do that, right? Yeah, yeah, so long yeah. as you don't do an action or anything that yeah. will force you to become visible. 100%, got it. Okay, so you, you, you come down, um, you see the collapsed mine entrance. Yeah. Um, do me a history check. Oh, Anthony, really? Yes, history. Really. Oh, yeah, it has to be history, unfortunately. Oh, okay. Here comes that net twenty. Oh, no, <laughs> not bad. <laughs> Close enough. I'll, I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll oh, fucking okay, take it. So you remember this? The, the the cave in looks very much like the cave in that you guys saw three hundred years ago. Mm hmm. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. Do I see anybody around? No, no, it's... Okay, so let me de get, describe the scene for you. Roll me a perception. Ah, uh, sure. Yay. Okay, um... Flood just sees dirt. Nice. Yeah. But does Flood know that this is all he sees? <laughs> um... Cool, yeah, so I'm, I'm just going to like look around and be like, there's nothing here, really. There's no one. Yeah, actually, to be honest with you, there is nothing there. It's yeah. basically uh, just dust and sand. Okay, perfect. There's no sign of a settlement of anything whatsoever. It's just barren, barren ground, land, everything. It doesn't look like anything's grown here in, in a long time. All right, perfect. I'll, I will go back up, you know, and be like, oh, you guys are still arguing. It's fine. There's nothing there. It's fine. You can land. It's nice. It's very nice, very green. Lots of the roses, bushes. It's very nice. <laughs> <laughs> I put my sword away. Uh, so I said to Jeremy, take us down, Jeremy. Okay, he says you do remember sir that we can only get as low as 100 feet and then we have to stop. Any lower than that we might not be able to get the ship up again. That's right, we got the, the ladders that can reach us down. Correct. Correct. Alright, I need you to find it. I need you to recon the area for a place if should we need to load the ship with any findings. Can you do that whilst we're down there? We can do that definitely sir. Do we need to construct anything to hold what you find? Uh, perhaps reinforce the cargo bay. I know that the engines should be able to do the rest. Okay. Um, I turn to Robert and I say, Robert, when are we going to come back to the ship so they know when to come back down? Um, Sunset. Two um, days. Yeah, make it like two days, right? All right. Okay. Two days, Jeremy. Meet you, meet you on sunrise. Two days from now. Till then, keep the the ship safe and the crew safe, and do those upgrades. Okay. Give me one sec, guys. Bunny. Bunny. Mm. 
Okay, so you guys can hover down and then you can lower let it down. Uh, Flood, of course, is waiting for you as you come down. We've gone mm -hmm. a little bit ahead of you guys. Sure. You can climb off the edge of the ladder and you come down. Either than Flood, the other four can roll me up a session. I assume everyone's going down, right? No one's staying on board. Yeah, mm -hmm. sure. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Okay, roll for me a uh, perception. Nope. Oh, Robert is eager. <laughs> I'm on a roll tonight, man. Yeah, okay. So you see the, the collapsed mine. Um, Grundle, Nathan, and Robert. You guys can roll me history checks, the three of you. Oh, goodness gracious me. Just check that history. I think it's plus six. Oh, wow. Mine, mine is the highest. Jeez, Robert! <laughs> Don't ever curse Avra, huh? No, no cursing of Avra. No, I love Avra. <laughs> Let me find a gift for I love Avra. <laughs> um, okay, so basically what you see is just really ruins of a settlement that had been here. Doesn't look like anyone's been here in like 200 years, if a lot longer. The thick layer of sand and dust covering uh, the remains of structures, buildings and that. Uh, you can see the collapsed mine entrance where you can see the feeble attempts which, where they had tried to dig it away, but they stopped midway through it. Um, yeah, that's basically so, what you see. So no one's touched this area in 200 years, is that what you're saying? Nobody has, since the collapse, which you guys witnessed, you, mm -hmm. it's safe to assume with the high history of Robert, Nobody has been near this particular mine in 300 so, years. I'm going to ask Robert, so you didn't reckon hiding a stash of or ignits here was a, was a good idea. I remember that, right? It wasn't a good idea. They would find it, right? That's what you said. Right. Yeah, trust me mm -hmm. when, when I'm saying mm -hmm. that I had reliable mm -hmm. information regarding yeah, 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 hiding yeah, or... Yeah, yeah. I think your reliable source is fucking bullshit, bro. At this yeah, moment, yeah. at this moment, <laughs> I take out my reliable source and open it. And the book is now talking about chapter four, the discovery of the abandoned mine. Uh, I missed chapter three. Uh, chapter okay, wait. Uh, one was the prologue. Yes. Chapter two was the rise of the cult of Raksha. Oh, so it's chapter three. Sorry, correct. Yeah. My apologies. Chapter three. The discovery of the abandoned mine. And yes. the, the, right to stop there, it, it talks about the banter between Nathan and Robert about hiding ore. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> yeah. oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Um, so, would we able to identify exactly where this lost vein is and maybe try and find an entrance to this part of the mine that was collapsed okay so, so sorry sorry anthony third question what does these old buildings and ruins look like uh, it's it's really bad it's like it's um most of the walls have crumbled away uh so it's can't the, we use the shelter and things like that no no, no uh, the, the, mm, one or two maybe but uh, the problem is there's no real way to stop the wind coming in and out because the wind's also picked up quite a bit since you've come down um, y you know it's also you're also hearing weird sounds in the dust in the in the amount of wind um, and you seem to remember from your childhood so I'll give this to you but to get it clearer I'll need another history check for you Robert Okay, now I'm gonna roll a natural twenty. Look at this. The dice wow. loves me tonight. It loves me tonight. Nat one. Oh, oh, doesn't matter. He's rolling very well tonight. That's... <laughs> Robert can do no wrong at the moment. Yeah, not tonight. Not tonight. Tonight is your night. Okay. Yes. Um, you remember from your childhood, your parents used to talk to you about the stories of the haunted mine. Or the, the haunted district to the north of Tarkinan, where a lot of people who went adventuring there never returned. Um, 
well, if they did return, they claimed that they'd seen ghosts or some evil of some sort in that area, and just the, people just stopped going there to explore it. So it's also the reason why it's pretty much abandoned. There's nobody was, you know, after the mine disaster, um, the whole area was like abandoned shortly after, especially when they battled to get the opening to say the miners were trapped below. The, the, there's rumor that the the, the remains of the, the you know the miners their ghosts because they they were just buried alive are seeking to take revenge on anybody that comes to this okay. area yeah okay uh, so so I relate all of this information to the group of guys and ask him what do they think I, I believe we should be vigilant because of these stories right we must keep our wits to ourselves while we are trying to look for... Flood, Rome. how often do you look into that ethereal plane? So, so, I was actually going with Philip Tullis. Yeah, he did. Oh, oh sorry, sorry. Uh, yeah, in that case, I definitely would look into that, uh, that plane. I'd be like, oh, ghosts, I like ghosts. Ba -ba. Okay, so when you look into that plane, you see... Again, that get that creepy feeling of this it thing that's watching you. Can I roll perception? You can try. Mm. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Every, give me the net twenty. No. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> no, every, every. Every every went from hating Philip to hating me. Well, <laughs> yeah, I see. Defense, there's, there's, a a there's a two. There's a two. It's just missing the zero. Just missing the zero. Yeah, yeah. I got you. I got you. Um, you don't see it, but what you do see yeah. is the yes. following ghosts. So basically, I can see everything invisible Wait, and into the ethereal plane. Yeah. I'm a magician. But wait, they're small. I've got magical stuff. We hear Ratchin's ghost. Give me one sec. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just put it here. So you can spend, uh, you can spend one e uh, ectoplasm. Sure, I'll do that. For one hour. You can see invisible creatures and objects as if they were visible, and you can s see and hear into the ethereal plane. Ethereal plane. Mm. You see six. Six. Of them. Six and of them. They are making their way towards the party. Oh, okay, wait, wait, hold on. I, I would presume that. I could tell the difference between what's invisible and what's in the other plane. Yes, you can. So, are these just invisible or are they in the e um, ethereal they're plane? They're in the ethereal plane, but they're going to be coming to the normal plane now because they're about to attack the party. Okay, I will obviously go. Every oh, I will, I I will I not type that in before you said rolled for initiative. You did. I, I will obviously just, inform I'll everybody. I'll just time it. I'll, time, I'll, I'll allow you to get that in, Philip. But I just want to know what Gareth's doing before we actually get the sort of combat thing ready. Yeah, no, I will uh, tell everybody, be like, everybody on guard. Uh, we have uh, uh, specters. I'm going to say specters, probably. Yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll just be like, specters are coming to attack us. Uh, don't believe me, just be on guard. You know, just, you know. Can't believe me. Just yeah, be it's like, you don't, you don't have to believe me, but just, just be on guard, you know, like... Because oh, like, because like every everybody's looking around, going like, wait, there's nothing yet. There's, there's, there's nothing. There's nothing going to attack us, once. So. That's funny again. Yeah, right. That's that's flat, you know. Ha ha ha. Gee, Lee. Uh, shit! I actually forgot how to do this. Lee. Wow. I'm impressed, Lee. What? Now you're in. Oh, Just took a bit sorry, of time. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ, Lord <laughs> Almighty, dude! <laughs> can can, can like every uh, I was the one that was on guard for this shit. Can, do I get advantage on it? Like, come on. No. Ah, dude. 
Bro, flood. Mm -mm, I don't know, bro. He's not having good rolls tonight. Ooh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, it's, it's actually so... going to be an interesting combat, to be honest with you. It'll be far Holy better than shit. mine. Right. Yeah. Okay, so there are six of them. Yeah, but how do you fight ghosts, though? They're actually spectres, so they are they are corporeal when you attack them. Uh, please note, I don't know if you guys have fought undead before, but undead have special properties. Right. Well, for starters, they can only be hit by magical weapons and bludgeoning equipment. Anything else, they will reduce the damage. Mm. It's a bludgeoning. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Um, All right. Yeah. Guessing, I'm going to spell. anything. Basically, anything that's not magical to attack them will not hit. Uh, except for bludgeoning, yeah. No, no. Including bludgeoning. I just read it up now for um, Verna. Mm. Anything that's oh, yeah, not magical. Yeah, I'll show it because uh, it's the first time we're fighting them. I will. So normal weapons will not hit, but if you have a let plus me, one let weapon, me let me show you. I'm normal place... weapons will hit, but will only do half oh, damage. damage. Half damage, yeah. Ah, okay. See, there it is. Lightning, thunder, cold fire, acid, bludgeoning, kissing, and slashing from non-magical attacks will only do half. So it's basically anything, other than a magical weapon, will do half damage. Luckily, I have two. <laughs> and the rest of the party? I have... I have a lot of spells. <laughs> and you know me, Anthony. I like running away. Yeah. And that is full-on magical. Yep. Okay. Um, did I say next? No, I haven't clicked next yet. No. Oh, yes, I did. It's Nathan. Nathan, 26 to attack, eh? Uh, that's going to stealth. That's going to stealth. Okay, and then? Uh -huh. um, I am going to maneuver myself behind the creatures. Okay. I just want to get everything else. Okay. Okay. Um, are you doing anything, though, Nathan? Uh, well, your full. Well, uh, what's your full? What's your movement? What's your movement? My movement is uh, thirty feet. Okay, so you will use your full round to get behind them. Yeah, and then I'll just use sonic whispers to uh, uh, have con mind contact with. Um, uh, Robert, Vlad, and uh, Grendel for now. Okay, cool. Is that you done? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I have to roll and die for it. But it's okay. It's not the end of the world. Okay. What do you have to roll? I'm trying to find what it says, what it means to roll. Uh, oh, okay, so it's a d6. Okay, so. Uh, roll 1d6. So I can speak to them via the Sionic Whispers for four hours. For four hours? Wow. That's cool. Yeah. It's actually very cool. Okay. Grandor. Okay, now I'm going to do a tumble. Mm -hmm. to the one so that I'm um, sort of next to Nathan. So you can get flanking, that's what you're looking for. Correct. So we can get flanking so we both can get advantage on the attack. Not only that, but remember you're an assassin, so they haven't attacked yet, so if, if you hit now, it's considered a critical. Remember that. But isn't it uh, one move for me to do a tumble? Uh, your acrobatic check. Well, do your acrobatics if the DC is high enough, I'll allow it. If it's not, they'll still allow you to get there, but then you won't be able to attack. Okay. <sighs> Crack. Because it's 
it's assassinate feet, remember that. Ooh. Yeah, that's good enough. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so then I'm going to use uh, my rapier. Okay. Is it a magical weapon? No, it's not. Okay. I don't have any. Doesn't matter. Yet. You just need to hit. No, you, it's considered a crit because of your because of the assassinate feature. They haven't attacked yet, so you're going to hit them before. It's a rather nasty little thing. Let's just check something. That's a hit. So it's considered a crit, eh? Okay. Um, um, hang on one second. Ah, unfortunately, they're immune to critical damage. Lols. Can I get a sneak attack? With your, with, but you'll get your sneak attack damage, yes. You just okay. got bamboozled. Yeah, Mo a lot of undead are immune to critical de hits, eh? Yep. So uh, do my damage and then I'll do my sneak attack. That's fine. Okay, so nine. So it's going to be four. And, and then we'll just sneak. Sneak attack one extra. So it's. 3d6. Okay. Oh, nice. Are you done, Nathan? I mean, not Nathan, sorry. Um, go yeah, I've, only got, so I've only got one attack. I'm done. Okay, uh, can I just, just me. You, it's a bonus action, yeah. Okay. Oh. Uh, Yun. I'll attack the same one that I was busy with. Okay. Because we're getting rid of them. So that would be an advantage, correct? Yeah, yeah, because Grandel's there, so is Nathan, so definitely an advantage. Yeah. 14. Uh, that's actually a miss. Okay, second attack. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that, that, that's a definite hit, yes. Of damage. Uh, non-magical. Non-magical, eh? Hey? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'll use a key point to go into patient defense, so I'm at disadvantage when I attack me. In your what? AC changes? No, I it's dodge basically. That's what it is. Oh, okay. I dodge, yeah. Okay, perfect. Are you done? Yeah, I'm done. Okay, the Spectres. Okay. The one by that uh, you just went for Lee is going to move towards you a little bit. Nathan, you can take an attack of opportunity on it, seeing it's moving away from you without oh, paying attention to you. <clears throat> Great. I am going to roll a psionic blade uh, into its back. Do I get advantage with it? Um, no. You, 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 the attack of opportunity is just your attack, not an advantage. Okay. Fantastic, so I am going to roll for it. So cool. I believe in you, Nathan. Uh, you can do it. <laughs> uh, Stuart, so hold on a second here, man. What am I doing? So I have to roll for attack first, then? Eh? Yeah, then you can worry about your damage. 
Yep, yeah, that's, that's a hit. Uh, damage. And then I have a free hand, and I've just done an It's not a magical it. attack that has, is it, Mark? It is. It is a Sonic Blade that I've just so thrown. It's a magical attack, direction. so it's considered magical, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. And it's followed by a second blade, because when I do an attack and I have an empty hand, I can... Um, with a with a when I make a, an attack with a blade, I can make another attack with a second psychic blade as long as my other hand is free. Okay. So uh, I'm gonna roll for that attack quickly. It won't won't earn anything. Oh. Get a, a sneak attack on that. Yeah, he oh. didn't. He missed his sneak attack. No, no, just sneak attack. You can't get an attack of opportunity. Uh, no, it's only if you have advantage on the attack. Yeah. And uh, the second one yeah, misses. So Misses, that's fine, it goes past it. Okay, uh, let me just see what their attack is so I can see what I need to roll to hit. Okay. Just see this happen. Just in. Mm. Okay, so. Oh. Okay. So I can. Roll. Can I use a bonus action on this attack of opportunity to just go back into stealth? No, nah, you've come out of stealth, you can't, it's, the action is an attack of opportunity, you can't use bonus action because it's not your round. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, what I'm asking, okay, cool. No, you can't, no, no, okay, give me a sec, just want to check, uh, ooh, okay, uh, Grundle, do me a constitution saving flow, please. Constitution saving throw. Yeah, and take eight necrotic damage from the attack. Ooh, uh, okay. Oof, Randall does not. Okay, you save. But I take. Okay, that's. You take eight points of necrotic damage. Okay, number two is gonna go for Yun. Yun, your AC is still 17, eh? Yeah, he's just uh, he's basically dodging. Okay, uh, you also need to do a con save, please, and take uh, 13 necrotic, uh, 13 points of necrotic damage. Okay, uh, no, that's a fail. Please reduce your maximum hit point total by 14 until you have a long rest. Goodbye, party, Sky Guardians. Goodbye. <laughs> you do not know. You do not know. <laughs> Flood was built for this, yes. <laughs> okay, number three is going to go after Flood. Flood, uh, Flood was built for this, it's fine. Bring it on. Ah, Flood, that's a hit on you as well. Oh, Flood goes has <laughs> just a flesh wound. <laughs> <laughs> uh, take four necrotic damage and do for me a constitution saving. Oh, no, Mr. DM, I don't think I will. Why? Because uh, you see Flood, I told you. He was built for this. <laughs> so, he, was, he, was, he was built for this. Yeah. Ah, oh, shit! Flood goes <laughs> nasty, nasty. Okay, it's so just you, a flesh wound. You're resistant, which means you take half. Oh, okay. But I you don't need to the con save. But you don't need to the Constitution save then. Oh, perfect. This you're is nice. You're not immune. You're no. resistant. Yeah. No, it's fine. You would take no damage. Yeah, I don't mind taking two damage. It's so it's yeah. just. Two. That's why I said. So one is a two. It's just a flesh wound. Okay. Uh, number four is gonna go after Nathan. Well, it can't uh, go after me. Oh, I'm like. Why in... can't it? Why can it not? I went behind all of them, which means that they didn't. They haven't. They, they would have to turn around to see me, which would give somebody else an attack of opportunity. Except there's nobody engaged at number four at the moment. So even if you turned around to look at you, there's no one so engaging. So they're all you. looking at Flat, Robert, and Yun. 
Uh, Grendel and I have flanked them while we were invisible, so we're behind the... Well, you're the... actually not invisible. Yeah, you're not invisible. Only you are, yeah, not Grendel. It does, it but you, doesn't also attack, what... you, you also did an attack of opportunity, so you're not, in, you're not in stealth at the moment. Yeah, a ranged attack, which means I threw the blade from behind and only saw a blade go past them. They would have to turn around to see me, and if they do, it gives either Yun or Captain Robert or Flat an attack of opportunity DM. I'm just saying, what's fair is fair, Mr. Necrotic Damage. Uh, except the problem with that is they're not all within five feet no. of each other, which means there's no way that anybody would be able to get an attack of opportunity on number four. I get what you're saying, but I'm just telling you it's mm -hmm. not possible for them to get an attack of opportunity on number four. One, two, or three, and yes, it, not on four. Is it a melee attack or is it a, a, a ranged attack that they're doing? It's a spell attack. Okay. So it's You're basically. Cold, it's, a, it's a range attack. Mark. Okay. But, uh, you're, you're cold, buddy. <laughs> but it's a miss anyway, so don't stress. <laughs> oh, how, 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 how convenient was that? Yeah, exactly, right? <laughs> Alright. All right. Hey, right. hey, hey, I'm giving the party a chance here, okay? <laughs> oh, Robert <laughs> missed. And then, who's number six going to go for? Number six is going to go for... Wait, let's do it this way. Three would be Flood again. What? Uh, that's a hit on Flood, which we know is not gonna. Motherfucker. Sure, sure. Yeah, so you take, you're gonna take five points. That's already reduced. Five points already reduced. Yeah, it was ten. Sure. Sure. Okay, and that's the last one. Gun. <coughs> Next up is Robert. So, how good is the one looking that has taken some damage already? I don't think he's taken a lot of damage. He's taken. He's basically on half of his hit points in damage wise. Um. So that yeah. one. I would have an advantage of the attack because of... Uh, flanking. Everybody's flanking, flanking him here. at the moment. So I don't I'm know where, go... oh, did you add Augustus in, by the way? Uh, yeah, he's in there. He's last in the order. Okay, I'm just checking. I'm just checking. Okay. So, so I'm going to do a D20 plus because... Um, yeah, because <laughs> plus, plus, nice, plus nine Mike. ADV, right? 25 to hit. Yeah, that's a definite hit. Uh, so I'm just gonna swing in with him with the sword. Okay. Roll. Because my strength got better, so it's plus six now. All right. Plus the normal plus two. Because well, why can't I put for shit tonight? <gasps> I thought you had the yeah. save, so you could just copy yeah, and paste. Yeah, I, I do have them. Oh shit! There we go. Oh wow. So uh, well, it's a magical weapon, it? hey? Yeah, yeah, it's magical weapons. Who are you going for? One or t are you going for the one that's been damaged or one of the others? Yeah, for the one that's damaged. Okay, let's check how he's looking. That hurts. Okay, carry on. Is he still on his feet? Or is he still yeah. floating? Okay, then I'll just do my uh, well, second attack hover, in uh, him again. Yeah, he's like gliding, what you want to call it. Yeah, so I'll just do my second attack on him as well. Okay. And I'll use the same weapon. Ah, oh, that's a hit. Guaranteed. And there's... What did I type wrong there? Oh, shit. Huh? I, must... I don't know what I'm typing with these things tonight, eh? Let's see if I've typed it. Oh, it's because I put an equals there. There's 14 uh, magical damage. Yeah, let's check. You kill number one. Okay, cool. Uh, I, I'm just gonna done? stand there and like in front of the people, and then I'm done. Okay. Is it dead? <sighs> no. Nice, Mikey. Yeah, okay. I don't have holy water. Yeah, Augustus. Augustus. So, so these things are in corporal, right? Uh, no, you. They, they've got corporeal form, that's why you can hit them. 
Oh, okay, great. They so can I only got take damage from a magical. Yeah, they can only take magic. They can only take damage from a magical weapon. Anything else would half the damage. So you are still hitting them. Okay, so the one closest to us. Which number is that, Anthony? Now it would be number two. Okay, he's just gonna fly by him and just just distract him a little bit. And then he's done. Flat. Oh, yeah. I wonder what Flat is going to do. Let me look through my spell list. Oh, Forsaken Chains, please. <laughs> you and your bloody Forsaken Chains. <laughs> and you know what? I've had enough of this bullshit. Is there anyone with, with like full health? Is there any one of them with full health? There's plenty with full health. Oh. Okay. There's five of them with full health. Oh, sh how many are there? Six. There was six. There was six in total. Oh god. There's now five. Oh no. Um, uh, what you call it? Just took one out. Okay. Uh, who's probably in the most danger here? Uh, probably Grundle and yourself, and possibly Nathan because of the low ACs. Hmm. Okay, but I'm going to go. I'm going to go for the one that's on Grundle. And I've okay. had enough of the fucking bullshit. Okay, Flood is not happy. He doesn't like to be attacked by ghosts, so he's having none of this shit. He's going to go for second chains level three spell slots. That's Ouch, seven. Boys, hey? five, what five D no, ten? Hey? Five D seven. Seven D twelve. Yes. D12. So at first level, at first level it's three. At second level it's five, and then at uh, third level it's seven. So, 7d12 uh, chains on the, the one by Grundle button, and I'm just going to go, Grundle, run away! <laughs> ba 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 now, I'm pretty sure the party knows what I mean by that. Right. Yeah. Right. Not actually physically run away, get away, just move out of way, range, yeah. whatever it is. So, yeah. Grundle, do you know what my Forsaken chains do? Do you remember Lee? Lee? Hello? No, I don't. Okay, so okay, sorry, just remind him. So um, I'm asking you to run away <laughs> because for every five feet it moves, one of those chains break and it takes one d12 damage. So the further it has to move to get to you, the more damage it takes. Cool. Yeah. <coughs> so just run away, everybody, move away from it, please. Yeah, something like that, except it ain't going to be enjoyable. <laughs> that's 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 a, a, a wink at pain is pleasure. Oh, they will not enjoy this pain at all. Nathan. Uh, okay, I go uh, to stealth again. Mm -hmm. Roll. Fuck. Okay. Uh, I hope that's enough. And then, uh, uh, I wonder if it's even worth it. Uh, so you said if, if they, they are they in physical form right now? So I'm, I'm going to communicate with Gareth now because he would know a thing or two about these things, right? Mm, yeah. 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 Okay. So he would have an idea. Yeah. Okay. So I communicate with Vlad since we made that psychic link. And I say, Vlad, it's Valorant speaking through your mind. Wait, when did so we make a psychic link, bro? The fuck? Uh, early in the, in, in the combat. He did it earlier on. Oh my, okay. He lost yeah. it for four hours. Oh shit, okay. Mm. And it was with me. Oh, my bad. Yeah. Oh. You so like, and Robert and one other, I think you said, okay? Two or three? Yeah. Three. It was, was Grendel, Bottom, and Robert. Oh. Uh, yeah. So okay. I say to Flat, can, can, I, can I physically push these things around, Flat? Are they in physical form or would I go through them? Um... I don't know, DM, could he? I mean, he's supposed he could. Uh, they, they can go oh. in Corporal to move through you guys. But yeah. if they don't but see me coming... Corporal at the moment. So yeah. they're physical. Yeah. 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 Cool. So in my stealth mode, I'm going to run and drop kick the one that's facing uh, <laughs> Grandel Bottom in hopes to try kick it as far away as I can. 
like this is spot to okay. sort of kick, but like run and kick. What do you like me to do? Uh, that's gonna be a straightforward athletics check, eh? Uh, or is would it not be counted as a, uh, as an attack? And because I'm stealth with advantage and <laughs> sneak attack damage. No, it's, it's it's an athletics <laughs> check. I'll give you advantage on the athletics check, but that's about it. Okay, so athletics. God, these guys have got shit strength anyway. So, uh, oh, fuck, my athletics is terrible, bro. Uh, you say you're gonna give me advantage, right? Yes. Okay, thank you, DM. No, no. <laughs> 21. I don't, I don't, I don't, yeah, yeah, 21. So, Trip. I run, <laughs> I run up to it and I kick it as hard as I can on its back towards, okay. uh, um, Grandel's direction. Let me direction. tell you something, I get a, I get a minus one on its check. Fall. Okay. They've got no strength, people. Their strength modifier is minus five. Wow, really, huh? <laughs> nice. Uh, Nice. Okay, so how so how far away does he kick it? Um, <laughs> how many feet, buddy? He kicks it about forty feet away. Don't lie. Yeah. <laughs> Lol. In that case, <laughs> thanks, Mister Mister. What you call it? Um, seventy. Are oh, you continuing to the chains? Oh shit. <laughs> Yeah, it's going to take 64. Save on that chain. Oh, no. No, there's no save. I'll, I'll send you the entire thing down. There's no save. Uh, so you just the creature. Again. Okay. It but, it, but it is necrotic damage. <laughs> it is. It is. It is. Hang on, uh, a sec. Hang on a sec. Hang on a sec. I'll send it to you now. It is necrotic damage. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about sending it to me. They're immune to necrotic damage. Oh, don't lie. Are you serious? Not even resistance. They're immune. They are immune here. Yeah, I will share it with you guys. Just. Oh, okay. So Flat thought he was built for this, but apparently they built better. <laughs> <laughs> you only uh, have resistance, they have immunities. Yo, bruh. Yeah, and like the nothing. only spell I have, they can hurt these motherfuckers. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, so, so I literally just kicked the one 40 feet away. Oh, shit. Yeah, into, 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 into the chains, which are doing no damage to it. Uh, and even have hex. But it's still in chains. Ah, uh, because it, it all only does necrotic. No, everything I do yeah, does the necrotic. Chains, ju the chains are just slow to movement, eh? No, it doesn't even slow to movement. Ah, uh, okay. No, but well, uh, but, gonna, but all those all those chains break I'm, and yeah. Yeah. I, I'm okay. gonna put you... uh, my psychic fuck. power to the rest of the party. Okay. So it I'm, did I'm, not I'm, work. It so, did not work. So so I'm going to be honest <laughs> with you guys. I'm gonna mm. be. I'm gonna be completely honest. Every spell that does damage does necrotic. <laughs> so necrotic. I'm fucking useless. <laughs> so I, I'm just. I'm just gonna move out of dodge, man. Yeah, I'm fucking I'm useless. So basically, from, every... from your point of view, um, flood is useless in the rest of combat. In fact, dude, the flood is going to go. Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> like shit. I, I won't say flood is entirely useless. He can just do medicine, medicine checks as we all go down. Right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. Uh, okay, no. uh, Grandel. Grandel is going. To, is the one still there between myself and uh, Nathan? Yeah, except there's an, the one that was on flood has seen that there's nothing on you, so it's moving towards you. So on its turn, it's going to attack you. Um, can, can I get advantage on that? Because, uh, flanking or no flanking? Uh, you will get flanking because Nathan's in range, yes. Okay. I'm to roll for an attack. Oh, dude, there's only one other thing I can do. Oh. Okay. Bro, I really thought that was going to work. So did I, buddy. But apparently they're both better. Mm, I have right. to read up. Uh, Grundle, that's a mess. Which means you're done. Okay. I take a bonus action. Cutting action disengage. Eh? I'm gonna disengage. Absolutely. Yeah. Stand. St standing operating procedures. Yes. 
Okay, Yun. Hmm. <coughs> I think I will use uh, I'll disengage. Yeah, I'll disengage as well. Mm -hmm. Get my forty feet away, and then as because I don't, well, there's nothing in my hands, I'll just take out my bow, my short bow. Uh, so you'll move into range to use your short bow. Yeah. So that, but you're a monk, so you should be able to, even with your movement, you should still be able to at least shoot one arrow. Anthony. Oh, mm -hmm. I, I use the disengage action, so yeah. Oh, you can't. Okay, yeah, sorry, yeah. Gareth. No, it's fine. Could I, I know this is a long shot. Could I use a bonus action as a reaction? Uh, Unless the spell says it's a reaction. You can Unless it says it can, then you can't, yeah. Okay, yeah. no, I was asking yeah. the DM if I could. Sorry, my buddy. Well, I always Mr. take advice and guidance Stickler from other from players and rules. people that know the rules just as well as the DM does, and I will You know, it's, a, it's a DM's discretion. <laughs> DM's discretion says no. Oh, okay. Sorry, sorry, Gareth. I thought sorry, it was nobody. Philip's discretion. If it was me, I'll give it to you. If it was me, I'll give it to you. Oh, lol. But I won't. Okay, so Yun's done. Did you move your full movement, Yun? Yeah, 40 feet, yeah. Oh, so you're far away now. Okay, yeah. so let's go around. Uh, okay, so the one that was on you is not on you anymore. It's going to move on to Nathan. Oh, shit. They just leave us in the middle of the battle here, Nathan. Yeah, uh, all, all, all Robert here is this. Robert, Robert, it's coming for me. Robert, it's coming for me. Okay, that's a hit on, that's a hit on you, Nathan. Oh, God damn it. Uh, do take for me nine points of necrotic damage and do a con save. Con save. Well, I can't even heal anyone because all their... <laughs> if they fell on the con save, yeah, it's... Uh... Give me one second. Let me just see what my constitution modifier is. Ah, Maybe. goodbye, Nathan. Goodbye, my friend. <laughs> One can say coming up. Oh! Oh! Wait a minute. Nathan, re Nathan reduce your maximum Wait. hit points by 11 until you have a long rest. Uh... Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, can I use type bolstered neck? Uh, what? no, I don't have I don't have proficiency proficiency with uh, <laughs> with gun saves. Okay, so what's what's the damage? Okay, so you take ele so you you take uh nine points of damage, and you need to reduce your maximum hit points by nine until you've had a long rest, and it'll go back to normal. God diggity damn. Okay. Yeah. Robert, okay. can you complain how painful that was? Oh, jeez. Okay, they're gonna try to take flood again, which is a waste. But it's like, it's like putting two people to do necrotic damage against each other. No one's doing damage. Uh, you're taking damage, but they're not taking damage. Right. And that's a miss on you anyway. Not bothered about that. Okay. Uh, okay. There's a second one on Nathan. Oh god damn it. I'm sorry. Which guys. misses? I'm, I'm sorry, man, I didn't know they're immune to necrotic. I didn't know. Uh one on Robert. One on Ro Robert, your AC is it's eighteen. In, yeah, that's a hit. Um um I can have a reaction to that. Yes you can. Uh, I'm gonna cost um Shield and bump by plus five. Okay, so then I miss. Okay, done. And then the last one on Grundle. Hmm. Crit. Grundle oh. disengage. Yeah, they move towards him. They didn't go too far though. Oh. They move towards him. He he disengaged to avoid uh, attacks of opportunity and other stuff. Well, I need to. Ah. Okay. Yeah, you need to do your con save in the meantime. I was just hoping the crit would be. Uh, oh, okay. So it's. Oh. 
Oh, oh no. Brando! Oh no. He's back. Ah, coughing luck. Huh? Oh yeah, he does luck. Coughing luck. Can I use luck? Go yeah, for it. Can you use better. In this case, you, I would suggest you do it. No, but it's still better than a net one. It's better yeah. than a net one, Grundle. 10, uh, 15. Grundle, take 24 points of necrotic damage and reduce Fuck. your maximum hit points by 24. Oh. Fuck. Which means Grundle's max now, guys, is 8. Oh. Oof. 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 Your maximum hit points is currently 8, and you're on 8 hit points. Oh, well. I just want to just check my damage if I'm still alive. You're still alive. I think. You, you should still be alive. Um, no, did I, did I damage you before? Oh, have I? No, I haven't, eh? Yes, it's the first time I've hit. Um, I'm unconscious. Ah, Grandel's dead. He's unconscious, guys. Oh, oh sweet Jesus. <laughs> can I, can okay, I quickly well, communicate can. as I see this with... with uh, up to Robert and just say, Robert, because Grandel my, is down. Because my is there no way? Is should, should we should we not yeah. retreat and find a better way on how to deal with these things when we come back? Yeah, we feel prepared for this. Okay, I was yeah, very, I'm hearing this. <laughs> yeah, very very what? ill prepared. Robert, you, you, you don't know what you're coming into, okay, guys. Okay, okay, I, I still don't know what my whistle did. Anthony hasn't told me before combat what my whistle did. Oh, okay, yeah, I should. I forgot to do that. Sorry. Um, give me a second. I need to just check if he's in range. Because I'm kind of thinking these are the relatives of horse that died in the <laughs> mine fucking explosion. I love how Anthony's gonna be like, you just give me a minute, give me a minute, and then it comes back, it does nothing. <laughs> it, it's it's fine, it's fine. I, I'm 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 gonna save Grandelbottom. I mean, that's that's my main no, I, aim here. I can pick him up. That's how I'm communicating oh, you can with pick him you. Up. Because you're the okay. next to engage. So what I'm saying is, like, I'll I'll pick up I'll pick up Grandel, but you need to let me know if you're gonna run or if you're gonna fight. He, like he I can, said, well, Grindel we can still fight. We've taken down one. I can take down another. Okay, bro, you can, bro. you, uh, horse appears. And he's like, what the fuck? <laughs> Why did you bring me I here? I go, I go, I go, horse. Do you know these spirits? Uh, they mm. are unknown to me. And um, bye. <laughs> um, do you have, a, do you have the best strategy to fight these spectres? Well, uh, are you are you having a general uh, uh, you, Remember, you're talking in your mind, so the guys aren't actually hearing your yeah. conversation. Yeah, yeah, correct. Uh, yeah. It's um, hit and run. Okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, thank you, horse. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, thank yeah. you. You're welcome. Hit and run. Hit, run. Come in, hit, run. Just keep your distance from them. That's yeah. what I'm going to do. How far is the one from me? I just want to see if this spell actually does. Or does it say I must do a melee attack? No, I must do a melee attack. Um, no, spell a melee, that's a melee attack. Um, so, the one that's on Grundle, um, I'm going to speak into my mind before I go in and I go, Nathan, see if you can get Grundle out on your next turn. I'm, I'm going to go in and try and strike these, this, this specter on Grundle. You've got it, boss. I've got, I've got Grundle. And Anthony, is it the one that Augustus is on? Yes. Okay, so, so you I'm going to do. Yeah, I'm going to do booming blade cantrip. Mm -hmm. Basically, meaning he's going to take an additional two d8 thunder damage on a hit, and then if he should move in his turn, he's going to take an additional one d8 thunder damage. Okay, I'm just reading it. Pull up um, our spell, it. me. Oh, okay. See? 
See, see, see. Oh, really oh there it is. So it's, I'm at fifth level, right? So I yeah. get... Um, it's going to take an extra D8 thunder damage on the hit. And mm -hmm. the damage the target takes for moving increases to 2D8. So if you move, so it will take 2D8. My, uh, yeah, until my next turn, is going to take 2D8 damage. But for this attack now, I can add a 1D8 thunder damage to the attack. Okay, go for it. <coughs> Roll 1D20. You need to hit. 20 plus 9. Oh, shit, yeah. Plus. You should hit. Plus 9. ADV, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, That's you hit. <laughs> so I'm going to go roll 2D. How far is this guy? I'm just going to do the melee attack. I have to. He's right near you. Plus, yeah, he would attack. He's going to yeah, attack you on plus, the next turn. So. Yeah, plus 6, plus 2, plus the 1D. 8 thunder damage, eh? Mm -hmm. So he's going to take... Oh, wow, look at those bad rolls. Oh, oh it's rolls so d 2 No, no, I rolled 2 d 2 Wait, right, you rolled d 2 no. <laughs> Whatever it's it two D's. No, it's two D6s. No, it's supposed to be no. two D no, it's supposed to be two D sixes, isn't it? Yeah, I rolled two D twos. <laughs> wow, <laughs> you got one, so the chances are you got the lower of the two. Plus one hey, let me see if I've done this right now. Yeah. Looks like it. So it's well, better and it's all mag it's uh, magical weapon, hey. Magical weapon, yeah. Okay, Paul, are you done? That, so the cantrip, I can cast as my one action and my attack as my second attack action, right? Or yes, how yes, yes, are yes, you no, I'll allow that, I'll allow that, I'll allow it, I'll allow it, I'll allow it, it's fine. So, so I can you still have my two still have one attack. Yeah. Okay, so then I'm just going to attack him again. Ouch. 1d20 plus 9 ADV. Wow, a 16 and a 1, eh? It doesn't matter, so you, that, you're hit, also, don't complain. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, roll 2d6 plus 6 plus 2 plus one. Um, The booming blade will not be, no, it won't be effective. No, no right. No. It's only if they move no, on their turn. Effective. Yeah, the first attack, yeah. Mm. So that's another 18, 18 damage. Oh, you should no. be gone. Uh, that guy should be gone. You... Oh, correct. Yeah, that guy should be... Nicely good. done. So... Okay, you're done. No, no, I'm thinking. So there's four left. How many yes. is still on... Um... Okay. Let me tell you um... where we are. We've got... Okay, Yun's okay. one is not on anybody at the moment, so it's moved to Nathan. Then you've got one on Flood, two on Nathan, and one on... Well, the one on Grundle is not on Grundle, because it got kicked away. Lol. So Nathan, you are going to go and save Grundlebottom. I'm going to action got two, search. He's got two to. He's got two to avoid in the process, eh? So he's going to have I'm to do some. I'm going to action search and yeah. move over to the one that's by Nathan and go at it. Okay, go for it. I won't have advantage. Oh, I would still have advantage. You will, Nathan. Nathan is, of course. Yeah. Nathan's oh, awesome. one, dude. Yeah, it's on this side. Plus. Damn, this could be an interesting bet. Jeez! Don't complain, hey? Do you ever so, hear you complain about Evra again? No, no, I'm not going to complain. So the first attack, I'm going to do Booming Blade again. Yo. Okay. Look, I'm going all out to try and save the guys here. Yeah, no, no, it's, it's the way to do it, man. Still, it's hit and run. Hit and run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you didn't necessarily mean that is... towards another oh, wow. No, the first attack is... We're not sure. Oh, no. I fucked it up again, sorry. I'm I'm back at... The... Uh, rolling every... Plus six. Plus... Oh, I should have it right here. There we go. Uh, 24 points of... Ouch! That's more than the last one. And... Yeah, and then I'll just attack him again with the last attack. Yeah. Ouch. Except the D8. <laughs> no, except the D8, yeah. Yeah. Um, Here comes the crit, which they're immune to, but it's still... Oh, wow. Dead, 13. Um... I missed that second attack. Oh, wow. Yeah. Sure. I, I think yeah, I but... did my part, and I'm just going to try and get in the way like such that Nathan can have a free run at Grundlebottom. 
Okay, Augustus? Uh, Augustus is actually going to start circling around these dudes around me now because I've got two around me now. Eh? Yeah, pot potentially, yeah. But one's definitely going to go for you. Okay, That's no sure. Certain. Okay, I'm going to uh, send Augustus around that guy's head. Okay, Flood? Yes, sir. You're up. Oh! Flood get to come in and not save the day, but okay. Come <laughs> Flood, Flood uh, come in and not save the day, yeah, I like Flood, that. Uh, Flood won't save the day because apparently this motherfucker is all me to necrotic, it's fine. Uh, Flood knows something. Flood knows something very much. Well, right? So Flood will do as a bonus action. Mm -hmm. He's going to cast shame. Oh, shame on you. Right. Which does what? So until so I choose a target, and until the start of your mm -hmm. next turn, the first time the creature fails an ability check, attack roll, or save, it is overcome with self hatred and takes two d six psychic damage. Yo, oh, that's good. That's good. <laughs> it's, it's it's all I have, guys. It's the only thing that doesn't do necrotic. <laughs> hey, but it's still a bloody good one. Right. So, uh, who, so you so you target one, and it's only when they fail. Yeah. So when they when they fail an ability check and an attack roll or a save. Jeez. Okay. Nasty. Hey. Okay. And I'm going to put it on. <sighs> fuck. I don't know the one that's. Okay. So let me tell you where you got. You've got the one that was fucked you, and that's that's split from each other. Then you've got the one that was on you. Yeah. Well, it still is on you, but it it, it missed you. Then you've got the two by Nathan, but the one is currently going to go for uh, Robert. And then you've got the one that was on Grundle that's now going to move to a new target. Not sure yet who. I'm going the to... one on Grundle is dead. Yeah. No. I the killed one the on one yourself. on Grundle. No, you killed the one on yourself. No, I killed the one on Grundle bottom. Not sure the one by you. Uh, I've killed the one that was by me. And then for the mm. second round of combat, I went to Grundlebottom and killed the one by Grundlebottom. So then there's so actually three left. No, because there is six. He's killed one, and then you just killed I've this killed one. Two. Yeah, so killed I've killed two. I've killed two, and I've two. hurt another one badly. Yeah. 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 yeah, he's killed two. That's right. Who so killed the four? first one? But there's four. There's, there's four, four, Anthony. Left. I've only killed two. Only two is dead. Only two have died, buddy. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Something messed up, yeah. Okay. So there's two around right, me. Sorry, I keep. And yes. Nathan, there's two around me and Nathan. There's one mm -hmm. around Flood, and there's one. Oh, but you, the one that was with you has gone away now. So that guy is on his own if I take it. Okay. Well, I'm going to yeah, put. Yeah, that's correct. So I'm going to put one on the one with the most health. Yun is Yun's one is not. He's forty foot away from Yun. Okay. That's yeah. Fine. Correct. Yeah. Okay. So I'm okay. going to put your thing with your thing. You could pick between um, two, three, four, or f five. Okay. Uh, sorry, uh, Gareth. Okay. So right now they should be going for Nathan and for Robert, right? Pretty yeah. much, right? So I'm going to choose the one with the most health and stick it on him, right? I hope he fucking mm -hmm. fails, and then I'm just going to go. <clears throat> with my rapier to um, to attack the guy that's in front of me, because uh, you know it's not it's not magical. There's mm, there's nothing magical I can do about it. So I'll just swing for the attack. It's not going to do much, but it's better than fuck all, right? Okay. Um. Go for it. Sure. That's a hit. Yay. Hold You've on. gone very oh, soft, wow. Gareth. I said, "Yay!" Let me be super. Oh, okay. Let me be super enthusiastic about this with my whole. Uh... No, my one awesome. d six, one d six plus. No, it's one d eight. Yay! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> it takes a whole, and, and it's not a magical weapon. No, right? so it all takes all two damage. It takes two damage. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Yay, <Yeah>, you! <laughs> right. Yeah, Flood is, Flood is not happy. Flood's gonna. Oh. Okay, Nathan, you're up. Okay, so I have figured out a way on how to pick up Crandall without using strength because it's not my fortune instead of using athletics. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna run and roll and pick up Crandall as such. 
Alright, Mark, I'm gonna need an acrobatics uh -huh. check. I've set the DC. Let's go. Acrobatics check, eh? Yep. Fantastic, okay. Um, if you have inspiration, it might be a good time to think about using it together. Okay, cool. What's the inspiration again? Uh, it's 1d4. Add an additional 1d4. Yeah, it's an additional 1d4. Cool, I'm adding the 1d4. Uh, now deduct your inspiration, so you got zero inspiration off with this. Okay, I'll do that. And boom goes the dynamite. Oh, that's good. Oh, nice. That's good. You roll past, uh -huh. they don't get a chance to attack you, you grab Grundle and you roll out of the way with Grundle on your shoulders. Cool. And like uh, it. because it's a rogue on a rogue, can I also use a bonus um, maneuver to go into stealth with him? <laughs> On my shoulders? No, no. He's I, 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 although he's pretty light, so tiny, I'll, allow yeah. to, I'll allow you to roll it, but it doesn't want to Okay, let's try this. Um, <laughs> uh, this is gonna be interesting. Uh, so it's it goes nothing. Eh. Okay. Well, you don't know. You don't know the outcome. We'll see just now. We're not invisible, done, but done. we're not the last of the party. Yes, I'm done. Okay. And I'm, obviously, I'm getting out of out of um, damage area. From, I'm getting away from these things behind the, okay. our comrades. Okay. Lee, do me a death save. So it's just straightforward D20 roll. Lee, no modifiers or anything. Don't worry, Lee, I'm gonna revive you on the next one. Ooh, that's and good. that's one success. Ooh, one success. yay. Ooh. Okay. Yun. Okay. Um, I'll attack probably the ones as closest to Sir Robert. Whichever one I get. Like, do you get advantage in range okay. attacks? I'm not sure. Uh, I don't think you can, hey, actually. Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, so. I suppose you could think that in theory, because you would be getting a flanking... No, it's only melee. Yeah, so it's only melee. melee. You'd have to be you know, yeah. within five feet of each other. LA within five feet is the requirement. Let's so. see. Does attack. Oh, crit. Ooh. Okay, it doesn't count Ooh. as crit. Oh, hello! <laughs> They're just immune to crits, unfortunately. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> oh, fuck the crits. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just a it's just a straightforward hit. Would you like to know what the crit would have done though? Do you want to just roll it to uh, see? Yeah, let's see what the hell why not. Okay. Yeah, I think you should roll. Oh my soul. <gasps> Holy <Ooh>. cow! <sighs> yeah, well. <laughs> there would have been one D ten bleeding damage, it would have been stunned for a round and it would have been triple damage. Yeah, it would have been nice. <laughs> Very nice. Yeah, so now it's just a normal roll. But I think we should always get that, even if they're immune to crits, because I think if I'm not mistaken, ah, if I'm not mistaken, if I'm not mistaken, there's one. Damage. If you get in the right range, it says, uh, ignore all all immunities. <laughs> yes, correct, but that's not the one. Oh, uh, I know, well, but this like. This one is seven damage. Yeah, uh, your all your stuff considered non magical, hey. Non-magical, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yep, and then... Are you damaging the one damaged already, you? Yeah, it would be, yeah. Uh, okay. Because that's the one you're facing, yeah. Mm. Yeah, he's damaging the... Yeah, the one that you did the most damage to. He said he's going for the one near you. Yeah. Then yeah, I'll just move uh, another 20 feet away. Okay. So I'll be about 60 feet. Yeah. And that's it. Okay. Keeping your distance. Mm hmm. Okay. Victor. Okay. The one on you can't reach you in. The one on Flood is going to try attack Flood. It's like, uh, as I said before, it's like two. Ah! Two... Oh, that's a hit on Flood. Oh, let me uh, guess. Flood, don't worry about the constitution. Uh, yes, just, I know this. It's fine. Just, just take six, which is already the half of the necrotic. Six. Okay. Okay. Uh, Nathan, you've moved out of range, so mm -hmm. two are gonna, there's two that are left that are going to go for, the two there are going to go for... For me, of course. For our lovely friend. And two hits. Okay, I've got one spell slot left as a reaction here. Okay. Am okay, I going to use it? 
Yeah, I'm gonna cast shield on myself. Which takes your AC to? 23. Five, yeah. Takes it to 23. Yeah. Okay, both missed. Okay, in that case, oh, if I'm not mistaken, <laughs> okay, I no. had I, I had shame. Okay. Wait, 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 sorry, Gareth. If I'm not mistaken, case, I had a shame cast on one of them. Whoa, 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 guys, one at a time, Gareth. I still had shame cast on one of them. Correct, that's the one. I'll do my two d six necrotic damage. I mean, uh, psychic damage. Uh, psychic damage. Necrotic would have been useless. Yeah, no. Roll 2d6. That'll take 11 psychic damage. Motherfuckers. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Flood the text from the shadow. He, he has again. an aneurysm and drops. What? <laughs> <laughs> you blew his mind up. The <laughs> 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 psychic damaged him to death. Oh, uh, uh, Flood goes, oh, oopsie. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Oopsie! Uh, and I go then, and I look at the one that's, that's by yeah, me and I go, look, you see what I've done? You see? You see what I'm doing? Okay, it's fine. Okay. Uh, whoops. Uh, did I click on something? Give me a second. Guys, I've got to wait for something to open and then i got to just close it as it opens, otherwise it'll slow everything down. Hey, uh. Me that grief. Why is Anthony? Anthony? Yeah, no, Anthony, oh, Anthony's, yeah, bro no. Anthony's breaking up there. Sorry, I broke up. I'm saying nobody no. says to the DM that there's been no background for this entire battle music. Oh, sorry, there's been no uh, <laughs> background, man. Okay. Oh, Never but it's mind. definitely it's not good. relaxing ambiance, let me tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's raining now. <laughs> it started raining, by the way. Just to let you guys know. Um, okay, where are we? Uh, next. Okay, meet, meet next person. Oh, Robert, go. So I want to hit the one first that has taken the most damage. Uh, no, he, uh, that one was killed previous round by... Oh, alright. So there's one yeah. left by us, right? There's one left by you, there's one by Flood, and there's one that hasn't gone after anybody at the moment, but he will shift on his turn. But they're basically all on full health, except for the one by Flood, which took two damage. Okay. So, me and Flood is still by the two here, right? Yeah. Because he attacked yeah. him with the rapier. Great. Correct. Stuff. Oh, wow, that's a miss, right? And that's a miss, yes. Oh, I can miss this one. And the second one uh, is 16. a hit. Oh, great. I, I don't have any spell slots left, so I'll just hit him with with my with my two D six plus six plus two. Sixteen damage. Sixteen so, and, and I can't more. action search, I can't do nothing, I'm done. You're done. Cool I think it should be Augustus now, huh? Yeah. Yeah. He, he's just gonna continue with this one by me and flat, I take it? Yeah, which means you guys will have advantage on your attacks then, huh? Remember or maybe that. I must send it to the one that Yun is busy with. Up to you. Yun, I'm gonna send the owl over to the one that you're busy with to do the flyby by him, so you have advantage on your attacks. What's the destruction? Yeah. Okay, but well, I, I, I'm still going to use range attack, so... Oh, uh, okay, so no, then I'll yeah, just so keep, keep the distance. Yeah, 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 I'm going to keep my distance, keep on okay. wh yeah, whittling cool. down, basically. He's just going to stay with the one that we're busy with. Well, you're busy with one and I'm busy with one, right? Okay, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And, and, uh... Yun is busy with one. Yeah. Yeah, this is the only three that's left. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Done, Anthony? Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Mark. I actually forgot about that. Okay, so I'll do. I'll do the same thing. I'll do shame on the one that's by me. Okay. 
And then I'm just going to use... How many do... spells do you still have left, eh? Or shame and ability? Shame is a bonus action. It's an ability. Okay. Uh, well, not quite. Hold on. I just need... You should have a limit. You can't do as yeah. many times as you want, oh. surely. I can do it for my last time. Ah, okay. Yeah. That's my last time. Sweet. Uh, I'll do it on the one by me. And I'm just going to go straight in for an attack. Um... <laughs> Yay. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Nice one, Flash. Yay. 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 Yay, you. Alright, yeah, sure, I'm done. Okay. Mason. Okay, so. Dude, I'm assuming uh, 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 I'm far enough to engage um, um, little, little uh, Grendel, right? Yeah. Oh. I am going to try CPR on him, and you see me give him the breath of life, the most selective kiss ever. Oh, ooh. Mm. Mm. So I am going to go down, put my mouth over his, oh. and I'm going to blow, and then proceed to get his heart back going again by pumping it. <laughs> uh are you bumping you him? do this <laughs> and you notice that nothing seems to happen. God damn it, fine. Like, <laughs> um, <laughs> Just take one of your <laughs> injections. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what the hell is doing? I have no idea. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm just... Social distance CPR, right? Oh, uh, man. <laughs> Uh, I am going to, to just to get. Uh, we we did grab some some supplies, right? Yeah, you have, have, like, have some. You should have some. You should have uh, some. Yeah, yeah, so I'm gonna give you my healing potion. Then. Okay, roll uh, two d four plus two d four plus two. Roll two d four plus two. Okay. Uh, no, he heals for eight, and that's his max hit points until he has a long rest. Okay, cool, but he's back up, right? Yeah, he's back up. He's on full. He's effectively on full health. Okay, uh, and, I, and I say to... Uh, and, uh, and, uh, and I put my finger up to his lips and I say, Shh, you need all the... Don't speak. You need... You need, <laughs> you need to rest. I am going to hit back and try to help the others. And as a bonus action, I'm going to go into stealth. Roll your stealth. And then make my way back. Oh, nice yeah. stealth. Thank you. Okay, you're done. Yeah. Okay, Grunda, what are you doing? You've just woken up. Yeah, but you said that I'm on, I'm on full health, right? You're on I'm eight. On eight. Your eight is your full health until you've had a long rest. Then you'll go back to normal. Um. What I'm going to do is. I'm far away from the others, right? From the people that are attacking, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, I'm going to take a short bow. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to attack from a distance. Okay. Grandel misses. Still not hundred percent ready after your little near death experience. Yeah, that was bad. <laughs> that was bad. Yun. Yeah. Yeah, if it doesn't work. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's try again. But I'll, I'll be attacking the one that's you know, yeah. You've got advantage now because people. it's being distracted by Augustus. No, it's range attack, so it doesn't matter. No, <laughs> no. Augustus is still by the one that it's we have. It's still one, yeah. But, but I'm going to, you know... But truly, okay, hang on. If this distracted, you would get advantage. That I think we can give. Okay. Can and that, that I'll give, because it's not really flanking, it's more... His attention is focused on Augustus, not on you. Yeah, okay, correct. we can do that. Yeah. Then I'll attack the one that's being distracted there by... Um, Robert. By the by the L. By the L. Yeah. Well, 
Ah, this nice. one hits. Your yep. second one. Oh. Oh, crit! Oh. Well, roll the percentile nice. because I, I agree with Gareth. The S1 had says it more damage resistances. Okay. But it ain't that one. <laughs> no. um, actually, is it? No, it is. Yes, it says ignore damage resistance. Oh, and one and no ones and twos on damage dice. Go for it, Verna. Okay, so that was on the second one. So let me roll the damage for the first one. Roll the one damage for the first one. Yeah. In case it takes four. Okay, so now the second one. The second one Double is going to be, so it's doubles, so it's 2d6 <laughs> plus 4, ignore 1s and 2s. Oh, so oh, we we'll re roll the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Just roll the 2 again, so we're on 7 at the and moment. Roll. Just 1d6, yeah. So it's 13 damage. Yeah. And it takes 13 damage. Yeah. Nice. Not okay. bad. Yun comes out of nowhere, like, yeah. bang, well snaps into everybody. Well done. Yeah. We make a good team, man. Uh, the party does can work together when it wants to. Okay. Uh, the spectre that's been distracted by Augustus attacks Augustus. Sure. Hits Augustus. <laughs> Sure, he's Do dead. Do say for Augustus? Oh, no, he's dead. <laughs> what, how much HP? Wait, I'll tell you how much HP Augustus <laughs> let, me tell, let me just check this out. Um, he's got... He's got... Uh, one HP. <laughs> oh, God, he's dead. <laughs> sure. Oh, oh. He dies from dead. the head. <laughs> he's dead. <laughs> he got fed up with this little flying thing of bugging it, so... I just attacked him. You know what? You want to know what his damage does yeah, if he should attack. It's one v one, a one v uh, one. <laughs> yeah, okay. minus four because uh, his strength modifier is minus four. Okay, Flood, I hit you. And see, but he doesn't put the train into morning because of the bird. No, because it's a, it's a, it's, it's a, a summon. It's not a proper familiar. He summons it. He casts yeah. it again. He's a conjured familiar. It's not like a yeah. normal familiar. Yeah. <sighs> It's fun. Yeah. So he hits me, hey? Yeah, so you take oh. half of 12. So I take 6. Yeah. yeah. And then the one on Robert, the last one. Sure. I have no spell, Robert. so it go missed, ahead. It missed and... you, it missed you, it missed you. <laughs> he missed me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Robert, you can go and return the favor. Uh, I'm just going to hit him because, uh, because I can. 1d20. I don't have advantage anymore, eh? Nope. First attack, 20. Oh, that's hey, a hit. Man. That's a hit. Can I somehow just roll my second attack as well? Yeah, oh, I'll roll your wait, second attack as well. How much HP does he have? He's full health. Enough. Oh, okay. okay. He hasn't been damaged yet. 20 plus 9. Second attack, 14. That's a hit. Okay, so I'm just going to uh, roll 2 That is the first one. Let me just go. Just go like that. That's the first one, and the second one. So it's eighteen and thirteen. Thirty-one damage. Nice. And I'm okay. uh, I'm done. Okay. Yeah. Well, it's dead. It's dead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm crying tears, man. <laughs> Flight! Go and do your damage! Uh, Come on, do your max damage! Do your worst! God damn it, dude. I'm trying to see. I don't have. Could these things be, be feared? Could yeah. they be scared? Sorry? Are they immune to uh, fear? Uh, uh, give me one sec. Uh, no, strange enough! They're not immune to fear, huh? Hey? No, they're not immune to fear. Alone, guys, these things are stuffing you over in that low challenge rating, eh? Cool, I'm going to I'm going to cast fear 
the one by me. No, actually, I'm going to cast fear on the one by um by Yun. Okay, I'm going to read it. Oh, what's the DC? Okay, so it's a wisdom saving throw, and the spell DC is ah, uh, it's fifteen. We don't use components, buddy. It's we don't uh, push components in my campaign. You want to start a problem with components, you guys will start having no spells to cast. Yeah. So, saving throw DC. How much? Uh, 15. 15. Yeah, wisdom. Fail. Nice. Cool, it's feared. Mm -hmm. So, it's got to get out of 30 feet away from you. Sure, but I cast it on the one there bar. Uh, Yoon. Yeah. Okay, so it's gonna. Ah. But you're more than 30 feet away from it, so it's, it's, it's feared of you, but not feared of Yun. Mm. Yeah, I'm about 60 feet away from it. Yeah, more. so more than that. Yeah. 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 Oh, okay, so then it ha I have to cast it on the one on me. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I have to. Sorry. Okay, that's fine. Um. Yeah. So did it and fail? No, it failed, so it is feared. It's feared. It's moving away from you. So I get to do my 2d6 uh, psychic. Yes, you do. Yay! <laughs> it does a whole four, four damage. Yeah, and then I'll still attack it, because I think fear is a... No, it's an, it's an action. Okay. You so don't need to attack it. You yeah. killed it with fear. Really? Yeah. You scared it to death, bro. Oh, you wow. scared it to death. Wow. Okay. Sure. Like Are it? you done? Yeah, that doesn't sound normal. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Uh, Nathan. Right, how many are there left? There are two left. All right. The one by you has taken uh, a little bit of damage, and the one by well Robert has taken a little bit of damage. Which one looks the weakest or more damage? The one, the one by Robert has taken the most. One by Robert. All right, I know Robert's other spell slot, so I'm gonna aim for that one. Okay. And because I'm stealth, uh, it's gonna be a sneak attack, correct? With advantage. Yes, it would be and an advantage, correct? Okay, cool. <coughs> so the first attack. That's a hit. Now I'm gonna roll damage on that blade that I summoned and also throw it at its at his head, bruh. Uh that's one six plus seven and then my sneak at this level gives me Okay, lovely. Really? Ah. How did you, no. you screw the pooch there? No, I don't know what happened there. Let me just You're typing that. like me tonight. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what happened there, right? Okay, I think uh, for before next session, let's go dice rolling school again. Uh, Philip will, will take that. <laughs> that you you open with a notepad and you set, you, set your dice, you, you set your rolls up there. So you just copy and paste That's as you need it. man. I typed it perfectly. Uh, 20. What? Yeah. Oh. And so you kill it. And then, do I, does it die? It dies. It's enough to kill it. Okay. So I use the second blade on my free hand to throw it at you and Swan. Okay. That's a hit. And, uh, 10 damage. Why is that one a D4? Oh, it gets lower on the second off. Ah, oh, okay. Okay, I'm just asking. I'm just asking. Okay, so mm -hmm. that's 10. Okay, are you now done? Yeah, and I'm going to use a bonus action to go back into stuff. Okay. Grando, you doing anything? I am going to get up and do another short bow and hit Okay, arrow. please remember to deduct your arrows that you're using. I uh, will do. Okay. When we go back into town, I'll need to buy some more. Uh, 
That's Yay! Good. Grundle hits. Oh, well done. Grundle does that damage. Okay. Grundle, you done? I'm done, but I'm going to do one attack. Okay, it's going to move towards you. Oh, fuck. But it won't reach you this round. Oh. So let me have got you as damage. Anyway. One. Yeah, well, there's only, there's only one. Okay. That's a mess. Okay, let's roll second one. That's a hit. Okay, nine one. And I'm done. Okay. You done it? Yeah. Okay, let me just check. Okay. Okay. As I said, it was. Uh, it's gonna go for you because it's a spell attack. It can still launch its spell at Grundle. And Grundle, your AC sixteen. AC sixteen, yes. That's a hit it's on you. Goodbye, Grundle. Take eleven necrotic damage. Do me a Constitution save, please. Why? Well, he doesn't need to. He doesn't need he's to do. It. Yeah, he's unconscious. No, no, I need the I need the con save to see something. It's important. Okay. Because oh, if he missed the con save, the character's dead. Yeah. Because it would have reduced his max hit points to zero, which means he's dead. Which means he dead. can't be healed. Oi, vey. Yeah. Is that how much damage I take now? You take eleven, so you're unconscious. You're on minus three. Yeah. That's what I said. We need to see the con save. If he failed that con save, he would be dead. I did some far away from everybody. Okay. Yeah. Okay. There's only the one. So, Robert, go kill it. I'm just going to go into it. Do I have advantage on these attacks? Yes, you do. You do. Floods on it. Yun's on it. You do. <clears throat> First attack, 23. That's a hit. What one do you do? Uh, the second attack is a 23. Ah, uh, jeez, are you trying to do this on purpose, eh? <laughs> I'm just going to type in plus 8 because it's 6 plus 2, Anthony. Yeah, that's fine. So the first one is, what is that, 14? Mm -hmm. uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's enough. Oh, okay. It's dead. Okay. So they, 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 they die horribly, yeah. but uh, uh, I just want to go slap uh, 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 poor Grundlebottom awake. Uh, <laughs> he's, he's taken the blunt of these guys' damage. The 24, he took the one attack there was bad. Mm. It was the crit, that's why. Yeah, that was bad. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, that's actually a good place to... <laughs> Actually, end us for the session. Holy shit! But that was a crazy battle, guys. Man. Huh? Mm -hmm. Sorry, guys. I thought you know, seven d twelve necrotic damage would certainly help, but apparently not. <laughs> <laughs> and with the not. battle with the spectres concluded, and with the potential Grundle Bottom almost dying, the Fire. party will. <laughs> the party, I like that, Lee. The party will recoup and rest up. Join us again next week, same time, to see what more misadventures the Sky Guardians get up to. You've been listening to a live podcast of Critical Hit. As usual, guys, stay safe. Catch you next week. Bye. 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 Uh, good session, guys. Yeah, that was Jeez, good fish. That was a bloody good